pretty poppin', I keep it pretty poppin'. Every time I walk in, all the girls and goofy stoppin'. I clock tick, 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 keep on talking. And if the niggas hatin', send the bottle, keep on walkin'. Now ugly people sit down, the king is in the place now. Life should have a dress, cause you got in, but niggas shit how. My team is on the wind, spin, spin, homies get down. I preach the truth like Jesus, get excited, call me JY. Look, I need a girl, true, similar to yours, dude. If I wanna, I'ma get a flip or send her back to you. Red weave, red bottoms, red bonus down the holler. S and M S X and money, everything I love about us. So excuse me, ma'am, what's it hidden for? Mesmerized by the way you're picking up the flow. Whoop, whoop. Goddamn, it's against the law. Cali face, southern body, hair from who knows? You say you got a man, but is he Derek though? Dollhouse, new swag, keep my super bow. You got that good, good? Niggas fight about it. The rumors loud. If I was deaf, you know I heard about it. Hey, hey, it's Priceless Twins. Want to shout out to Royal Flightness for this body butter. I'm going to tell you what's crazy about this product right here, y'all. Look how ass y'all look right now. I'm going to put a whip of it on now. Now watch this. Look at that. I'm glistening. Glistening. The sun is showing up. And love. it's smooth. That's what's crazy. God did. God did. Royal Flightness did. Fuck is you saying? <laughs> So sexy, Christian, yeah. Dame fendi, mi amor. La fiesta VIP. Modelo Louis V. So sexy, Christian, yeah. Dame fendi, mi amor. La fiesta VIP. Modelo Louis V. the boss bitch who on that fly shit who got the switch bitch yeah pop the champagne i'm that nigga blow this spot home take six figures sex good girl how you figure a rock star can't take yo nigga welcome to the very first king's council kiki with the kings or king's kiki this week our illustrious TTV is off doing the Lord's work. I am Reese G, not Cardi B, but I still get to the money. Oh, crew. and I am one of your kings. It is V, her, she. What's going on, Miss B? Good, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling on this illustrious morning? Child, another day, another quarter. Ain't nothing going on over here. Just a penny on the side and a bitch trying to get in. That's <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us how you are preparing for this reunion? Oh, honey, I'm going to be completely, totally, utterly honest with you. I'm just ready for it to be over with. It's been a long year. Um, I'm pretty sure I can speak for every cast member when I say we are just exhausted. And I just want it to be done. <laughs> okay. What's your Prepared. look? Are you are you giving us a short? Are you giving us a long? Are you giving us a bouffant of a updo? Are you giving us all of the shenanigans? Who say yes? I, I'm giving y'all a long piece. I'm gonna find me a nice long piece since y'all are tired of my kitten wigs. I was gonna wear a kitten wig, but my drag sister said you got me fucked up. Give me a long wig unit. So I said, okay, girl, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you think that this go around or this season different from season one that you, I guess, because season one, you gave off very much mediator. You're trying to keep the peace, mother hen, you know, the seasoned beauty that will always keep it together. 
<laughs> and this go around, what I have seen, that's no shade, just saying, y'all, so don't come at me <laughs> for what I have seen. It seems like you just have been in the middle. And it's like, boom, 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 boom. Why you I think, think and I, I think that's because I wasn't saying anything, but I'm also seeing stuff happening in the background and then my emotion from the stuff that's happening in the background is coming out on camera. <clears throat> so okay. I just really should, I genuinely should have just spoke up more all together. And I think everybody would have saw more of my stance on everybody's drama, like from Nicole mm -hmm. to Jayla, King Payne, Andre, all of that stuff. Um, I think people forced me to choose a side when I wasn't on anybody's side. And it was only my fault because I just should have, I should have said something. Should have been a little bit more stern in, in what you say. Let your yeses be yes and let your noes. Uh, Hello. Amen. Come on, somebody. <laughs> there is a question in the comments from you from Caden underscore A-M-E-I, baby. I don't know how to say it. And he wants to know, what is one thing you regret? Like in life? In general? I'm on the show? In, I'm assuming on the show. Let's just start. Since we were talking about the show, let's go with the show. Anything you regret? The one thing I do regret is letting people get me out of character when the arguments we having really don't mean that much. They don't. Mm -hmm. The arguments that are being had, the fights that we're all having, they don't really mean that much to me in the grand <laughs> scheme of things. It's really not that big a deal. And I let a lot of people take me out of character when I should have just paid it us. Yes, absolutely. Oh, bitch, and you know, real welcome, welcome, welcome. The illustrious voice of TV has entered into the King Kiki. Come on, illustrious. Evening. Okay, illustrious. Shout out to TTV in the building. TTV, what's going on, child? Wait, can y'all hear me? What's the tea? Y'all can hear me? Can I can hear you. Girl, let me tell you motherfucking something. Can I curse on here? I can curse on here. Yeah, you can curse on here, child. <laughs> Bitch, over it. Just get home. I can't. We, I can't talk about the reunion colors, bitch. But let me tell you something right now. If production is listening, hear me and hear me good. Okay. Oh. I've been running around all motherfucking day for this specific <laughs> color, bitch, and I cannot find it for the life of me. Okay, so. I'm just over what I'm wearing. I'm not happy with it, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna continue to stress myself out. Fuck it. Okay. I'm paying it. I'm paying it. Okay. No, so CTB. Is. So I, I just got home, like, literally, like, two minutes ago. Just got home. I have an outfit for literally each of the colors. Uh, I heard you heard, Wait a minute. I heard Hirsch the want to fight me at the ring. Girl, by the time this reunion ends, you might be my only friend, quiet as a scout. Oh. Uh, <laughs> too quiet now. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I got an outfit for each color that they gave us for this reunion, and they just, it's like, I'm ready for it to be over with TTV, because I'm going through the same shit. Welcome, Tay the Gray. Hey, Tay. What's going on? What's goody, Puda? What's T? How are you this evening? Um, I'm doing very good. Oh, we can't hear you. You need some earphones or something. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. Oh, I was covering my speaker. I said I'm very good. I'm good. living. I feel good. Good, good, good. So what was your, we're going to jump right into it. What was your reaction when you saw the um, the trailer or the teaser for um, the season of g Fat of ATL Hustle? Um, you want to know my honest, raw opinion? I feel yeah. like the trailer was very nice. I just felt like when they were showing bits of my moments, I just felt like it was nothing that I've actually liked did on a show where it looked very good on my end. Mm -hmm. I felt like the clips that were shown to me in the trailer was me talking about mess or hollering, but I was on red carpets. I did an event. I had, I, I was doing stuff. So hopefully I'm just hoping that be shown during the season, even though it wasn't really shown during the trailer, which I'm not too mad about because I feel like once the season come out, they're going to see that. So. I feel like the trailer is to get people attention, so I guess they got the people talking. Yeah, they got the people talking because it was very <laughs> tantalizing. I was sitting there like, oh, girl, we're going to get into some things. We're going to get into some things. Do you think, because a lot of times some producers get criticized and get um, the the whole favoritism thing thrown at them for who gets shown more in the teasers and the trailers or anything, do you feel like, there's any favoritism from production to the cast? No, because honestly, I don't feel like I don't care who's been shown more on the trailer. It's not about who's been shown more on the trailer. 
maybe you were shown one on the trailer because you're not going to be shown that much on the season, so they want to give you a little bit of spotlight. So Ooh. that's just my intake. I'm understanding truly out of the out of the cast, I am one of the <laughs> top three who held that show. Who you know, who's going to be to watch for? So that's my who opinion. else. Who else is in that top three with you that held the show? You feel um, that I personally filmed with. Okay, I'm gonna say outside of that I'm filmed with, and then I'm gonna say that I'm filmed with. Outside okay. that I'm filmed with, I feel like me, the Win Twins, that I haven't filmed with, I'm sorry. Me, the Win Twins. Um, I would say Barry and Monet is there. And that's including who I'm filled with and who I haven't filled with. So them the top four that I feel like is gonna carry this season. Y'all have seen people inside of that trailer a lot, but that don't mean they carry in that season. Like, I've seen a lot of comments about how Blase Blase is the season, but that don't mean nothing, baby. That don't mean nothing. Okay, come on, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> Child, I mean, it's just, it's just... Win Twins, I'll put you in that category. Okay, Win Twins is in the building. So do you think that you made any long-term friends that you were filming the show? Um, me and Braston, actually, if y'all see him, he he's not a main character, a main, I said character, a main, um, you know, yes, member. but he was someone that I grew a friendship with and that I still communicate with through social media and talk to outside of social media, you know, with the same song. And that show actually brought a friendship back to me that I've lost, that oh. we reconnected. And y'all will see, I'm not going to say any names, but y'all will see who that person is. He don't, he, he don't sound like, he don't sound like, he don't, he don't sound like Riley to y'all when he was yelling. I heard you say that. You don't think so? Riley from Boondocks? I don't know. I've never heard that. When you were screaming, I was like, yes, Riley, period. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a compliment because Riley. I love my, Riley. That's my boy. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I just, I mean, child, I'm just here for. I'm just here to see what color the wall gonna be in the words of Seely. So, as you, so this was your first web series that you've um, filmed with, right? Reality based. Mm -hmm. Would you do another season after? Well, my first. Show? Let me let me correct you. My first reality web reality series that I've filmed. I've been, I've had connections to other reality TV shows, maybe haven't aired, mm. maybe I didn't take that offer, but I've had, but what was your question? I just have to clear that up for the people in the comments that I see that's watching. Okay. Make it so, fun. For the yes. record, for the, re for the record, Tay is saying And that. shout out to the Win Twins because they did help with that opportunity that I had, so I'm going to give them big props. Come on for the collab. So he so. is saying that G Status ATL Hustle was his first web, web mm -hmm. space, but he done been around the block. Got you. Yes, I'm here for that. So, would you do another season of a web, a reality web based series? Like I would. They couldn't take me, and the people are going to love me. So, of course, I'm going to be back. Come on, they couldn't take you. What was they, it about they you? They honestly couldn't. What was it about you? You feel like they just could not take. They just saw this cute little boy come up, and they didn't know that this little boy is a big boy. <laughs> come on, <I'm> <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay, that's, big boy. No, but that's real. T that's that's real though. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm not trying to just put an act on. But that's what it is. Like that's just what it. That's just what it gave the whole season. Like I wasn't, you know, and I was the smallest. I was the youngest. So. And I just had to let it be known from the jump, from the gate, like, I'm not here for, no, you're not, mm -mm. You're not here for the thing. You don't play no. that. Mm -hmm. PTV, you got some questions for our guests? Um, I'm just, so you're saying the older girls were intimidated by the young game? That's what, that's what it's given? That's, that's, a, that's definitely what it gave. Oh, okay. Who, mm -hmm. who was it, who do you think was intimidated by you the most? Oh. Um, the most... Honestly, truly, I, and there's no shade, Akeem was really intimidated by me. <laughs> and I'm going to say that because uh, when I first met Akeem, we had a Libra Bash party. Akeem was, I, I don't know if it's on, if it, it wasn't even on camera. Akeem was 
all up on me. Like, want to be my Ooh. friend, want me to be in this circle, want to be this, want to be that, want to be this. And then when he seen that I wasn't in taking in that and I had my own shit going on and people was going to gravitate towards me and I'm not the person to gravitate towards nobody else, he, he felt some type of way once he seen mm. that my name was getting spoken upon within the cast mates, he seen that Okay, a team name gonna have an X and Tay name gonna have a check and oh. Tay Tay is gonna be down in the comments when it airs when the show's air. So well, are, are, that's are you why worried about that? He's very much intimidated because a king is the type of person he feel like G status is him, his name. He feel like he made G status, but a king, a king had to come down to his sisters this season and let it be known that new people is on the scene and you old and you late and you need to just oh. stay an EP oh. and not be a Castmate, that's he had to, and he came to the realization. So, and I'm not the only one that knocked the king off his motherfucking quote unquote shield. There's other people that have, and I'm going to give props. Are you, are, are you, okay, but are you worried about that? Because, you know, Akeem is considered like a fan favorite. Everybody no. loves him. So, are you worried that the fans might hate you because you're coming for the fan favorite? No, because I'm not coming for the fan favorite. The fan favorite was coming for me, but I don't, no, I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of that to answer your question. Now, Do you uh, think? Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, what's the team? You know, with you and Chris Easley, because y'all are both, I believe, the youngest in the group. Correct? I don't know how old that that man is. I don't know him. <laughs> but yes, I am the youngest in the group. Mm. I just thought you and him would have bonded. You know what I'm saying? That's Honestly, in the beginning, when we first was all together as a group, I was, I, 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 I liked some. It was something about Chris. Why I was like, okay, I could sit around him, but I. I also thought he was also wanted to be me, boy, but I also gave him his props in the beginning. Like, I let him know when I first met him, oh, you can dress until I seen that he would have saying leather pants every fucking time we was on motherfucking set. Before I seen him leather pants 55 million times, I said, oh, you can dress. I gave him his props. Like, okay, I like you until it's something about him that rubbed me the wrong way and he got upset that I unfollowed him on Instagram because he's not interesting. He wasn't doing nothing for me to follow him. He got upset about that and that just exploded and yeah. And I asked him if I, we had a conversation and within that conversation he was just talking bullshit so I said, yeah, you're late and you're done. Bye. <laughs> so ever since then, ever since then, we wasn't cool, and he also, I'm not to throw nobody business out, but he also lost the people that's closest to him that was on the show because of his ways. Chris is fake. He's a fraud. Um, if y'all saw the trailer, he slept with three people in one motherfucking season. Ooh. Chris is just... Oh. Chris Wait is just, a minute. Wait a no. minute. Wait a minute. He slept Chris, with three people. Did you watch the trailer I watched? I think I missed that piece. Break break it down to me. He's let me Oh, I'm playing in slow motion to show you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I definitely caught it. No shade. I did. But <laughs> at the end of the day, when I first met Chris, I, I, thought, I thought we was going to get along. But is there any mending the problem between y'all? No. And I can't oh. wait to see that bitch at the reunion. Oh, jeez. No, there's no type of, there's no mending. There's no mending. And I honestly put it on me because I come into situations like, okay, if I see somebody, they cool, and we get to talk and we click, I feel like, okay, we're going to be cool. So I automatically got in my mind, we cool. And I just feel like just because I don't follow you on uh, Instagram, it should have not brought a problem. Like, but no, there's no mending. Um, no, there's no mending. I'm sorry. Okay. So as far as any of the women on the show, there's quite a few girls on the show. The twins, Lady Monet. Bae. And oh come on, babe. Bay. Can you roll up? See that's what I I'm just wanna about. roll it, roll it, roll it, roll up. That's I'm what sorry. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't nothing like saying, Bae, can you yes, yes, I help me. Amen. Is there any other girls that you gravitated to since it kind of seemed like the boys' club was a little rocky? Honestly, the, don't, 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 don't get it. The boys club wasn't a little rocky. The, the issue with these boys is they just so into competition. They so intimidated. They don't know how to sit around someone that's well put together. Well, you know, they don't know how to do that. They so intimidated. They don't know how to give the next person their compliments, their props. You know what I'm saying? So, but as far as girls, I don't have no problem with, 
none of the main girls on the show, which is the Win Twins. I love the Win Twins. Um, we had our, you know, situations, but at the end of the day, like, the Wins were friends outside of the show to me. They, okay. they felt like I could say that hung out outside. Before the show even was around, they was my friends. So, right. um, who else? Monet, I, I like Monet. Monet is Mon Monet is crazy. Monet is Monet. I love you, Monet. You messy, Monet. You gonna start a part, Monet. You gonna you gonna you gonna get it rolling, and that's why I like you. And you never cross me in the wrong way. Um, J D R. I like J D R. At first, me and J D R was um, but and then for these, um, we got a girl that's a supporting cast. She's a nobody. So next. Um, hold on, oh, yeah, competition. I didn't necessarily put a name on it. I just said the boys in general. I was talking in general. I didn't. I didn't yeah. put a name on it. So, yeah. Okay, then. Well, shoot. Well, I'm here for. I'm. And I don't think you was in competition. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the season. I can't wait to see what you bring. I have lived for you. You know, we have talked, and I'm. Just we have talked before yes. this came about. Yeah, I'm just happy that that things are working for you because it was like zero to sixty and you just like pop and it was just really it was really really good to see. So I appreciate it. Nicole caught this shade in the comments. I Hello, I'm a nobody you always talk about me though. Shut up, bitch. Next, oh. Nicole. This is the thing. You a puppet and I throw treats to puppets. So hmm. my words is my treats to you and they gonna hurt it and they gonna eat you up alive every time. I'm gonna give you the same energy every time I see you. Okay, so just be prepared. Don't come in the lab that I'm in because I'm gonna hurt your feelings. I don't like you at all. Mm. So who who would you say is the puppet master? She's the puppet. <laughs> um, Chris is the puppet master, but he's not no master, but he's the little brother to the puppet. He's the big brother to the puppet. I don't know who they master is, who they call to, but she who he called to. I don't know who he called to, but oh wow. So, needless to say, um, Nicole, you heard it. You heard it here, honey. It's just. It's and then just, I tried to. Nicole is. A, I, I gave Nicole the opportunity to come on the live with me and have a conversation with me. She runs for the conversation. So, I'm going to eat her alive until she had this conversation with me. Mm. Oh, get up here, Nicole. <laughs> uh, I mean, do, do you want to have the conversation now? Chris can get up here, too. Oh. Well, we gonna let Chris. Well, I was gonna let Chris come up solo so he could, cause he apparently has some things to say too. But Nicole, if you are in the comments, darling, we could definitely bring you up. And Chitty, she's chat, not gonna come chat, up. Chat. She's not. She's Ooh, not Lord. gonna come up. No. Lord Jesus. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of you, Tay. I will say that, Nicole. Where you at, girl? You were just there. What happened, sister? He said no. He can wait. Mm. She's not. She's insecure. She's not gonna come up. She's not gonna come up. Well, there it is then. Well, Tay, I appreciate you, darling, for coming. G Status ATL Hustle is on the way. Y'all can see this beautiful, beautiful gentleman on this season. I'm so excited to see you. Love you, Wins. I can't um, wait to the reunion, to the too. I can't wait to the reunion, too, because y'all are giving me Y'all are giving me the tease that I need, honey. Is there anything last that you want to just say to everybody watching about this season? Um, to everybody who's watching, I want y'all to know I'm not a high head. Um, people may categorize me as a high head, but it comes, things come within that. People will provoke you. People will underestimate you. So that underestimation and that pr prerogative stuff, pr provocative stuff that comes to you will make you be a high head. Um, I can't wait till y'all see what I have to bring and to everybody that I grew a relationship with, to Braston, to Win Twins. To JD or to Monet, to Barry, to everybody that was grown, that grew up in this within this time frame and that was grown about every situation. I appreciate y'all and I can't wait to see y'all at the reunion. And to the ones that I see outside of the show right now, I can't wait to see y'all to the Win Twins, to Barry, all y'all. But I can't wait to y'all to see, see what not just me, but the cast that was behind me on the side of me. We as a whole, we are a beautiful cast. We put on a motherfucker, Chris, you can shut up, bitch. We put on a uh, y'all is gonna enjoy this, okay? We okay. got, I'm gonna let um, Chris so 
fucked out, come up here, talk to y'all, let him say whatever he got to say. And if Reese want to bring me back up, I will be back up here and I will be watching. So thank y'all for yes, tuning yes, in. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you, Tay, for coming up. I appreciate you, darling. I am gagging. What's going on? Shout out, shout out, shout out. Welcome. What's Chris good? Raw is in the building What's going on? from Game Changers of Dallas. How are you this evening? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? I had to take a puff. I'm doing good. I'm doing peachy. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> so for oh. those of you who are not familiar with Chris, he is a artist. Yes, he is an artist of many things. So introduce yourself and tell us about you. My name is Chris, um, a.k.a. Raw Spitter. Um, it's like my stage name or whatever. Um, I am a uh, creative, essentially, right? Um, I work in the jewelry industry. Um, I am, I've been in Dallas for a few years now. I moved here from the D.C. area. Um, I, grew up from, I grew up on the East Coast. Um, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm just down here, you know, doing my thing and meeting people, connecting, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, making it happen. And I, I got two of my other castmates here, too. We just over here chilling. I would, I would love to introduce them. Who in the hey, building? Tay Cash. Hey, Tay Cash. What's How you up? doing, Sugarfoot? Good. Yeah, God is yeah. good all the time. <laughs> Who else got, in the building? And I got Eric over here. What's up, my oh, name's hey. Eric. For a lot of the Florida. What's up? For a lot of their Florida. Oh, my goodness. Stay away from the water. Stay away from the water. <laughs> Stay away from the water. Y'all have y'all are a very attractive, tantalizing cast. I'm just okay. okay. We will be tuned in. We will be tuned in. Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be interesting if a certain producer was working with y'all? It would be so interesting to see that. (laughs) It would just be so interesting to see. (laughs) So Chris, tell us what can we expect from this new show coming to Dallas? Yeah, so this show, we're basically, we are an eclectic, uh, multifaceted group of individuals, uh, you know, all doing things, uh, you know, within the Dallas area. Um, it's kind of like a different take on a reality show. So instead of like, instead of there being more so of a drama aesthetic, I mean, which there is drama, of course. I mean, mm-hmm. you can't like not have that. But um, it's basically just showing us like um, achieving our goals in unconventional ways and Um, basically, you know, just how we interact with each other, um, how we, you know, interact with, you know, the environment of Dallas, basically. So, um, you know, yeah, it's cool. We got, we got, we have like, um, we have like a really cool cast. We have like, uh, everybody does things differently. We have another artist on the show. Um, we have Draco, the guy who's on the show. Um, of course you have Tay Cash, you know, styling. We have Eric, you know, the hustle boy. We have a beautiful trans girl on our show. Um, just kind of doc- documenting what's going on with her. Uh, we have a makeup artist. Okay. We have another guy who's an influencer. He's like really big, kind of like in the social media scene. Um, yeah, so like that's kind of what it's giving. But basically, it's just like you know, just showing how you know we do things. Yes, yeah. I'm very excited for this cast, you guys. This cast is a very eclectic bunch, and it is a new take on a reality-based or a non-scripted show. So I can't wait for y'all to see it. It's going to be fantastic. The company Shift Network is doing great things. And when I yeah. say great right. things, right. I mean great things. Yeah. We love we love the Shift Network. We love the Shift Network. So Shift. Shift. Since, we see, since we see these two beautiful gentlemen with you, would you say that throughout the season that you guys kind of built an alliance or y'all built a brotherhood together and... You know, how how was y'all's camaraderie? For sure. Like, um, of course, like, you know, there we have had um an interesting journey, you know, as a cast. Uh we have some of us have developed relationships outside of the show. Um there are people in the show that have had their differences. Um so, you know, I know for example, like we, you know, Eric and I, we like gym a lot. You know, Tay is like, you know, into the fashion. He's kind of schooling me on some things, you know what I'm saying? I'll be showing how I how to do the jewelry, be showing how to do the clothes or whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's been cool. It's been cool. It's been cool. So you'll get to see like um, you know, Draco the guy, you get to see him in his element, uh, you know, as a as one of the younger up and coming rappers here in the area, you know, out here doing his thing. Um, so you know, we we we're excited about this. Like it's it's nice. cool. 
Nice. Very good. So, I mean, I don't know if you see the comments, but the people are going up for you, Chris. It's so many. Chris, you fine. Oh, I need to be over there with all Thank of you. you. Oh, my God. They are going up for you in the comments. So, I just, I'm going to go ahead and ask the question that everybody want to know. Chris, are you single? I am, I am single. <laughs> yes. Period. So, period. Chris, <laughs> so, if you feel like you can't handle, step up to the plate. What's up? Oh, not step up to the plate. Okay, so more more questions for Chris because we're trying to hook him up tonight. All right. So what's the Chris, criteria? What's the criteria? What you looking for? Yes, what's what's the what, criteria, what's man? Type? Type? Uh, I mean, you know, I like authenticity. I like uh, you know attractiveness. Um, I like you know the uh, the go getter. You feel me? Um, you know, somebody like that's not really into like the drama or whatever. Uh, you know, somebody that got like their own thing going for themselves. They motivated. You know. Child, well, in the word in the words of my auntie, I'm not here for the facts. I'm here for the gossip. Are we talking about top, bottom, tall, short? Oh, what are what are we what are we what are we, what are we talking about here, Chris? Come on, you you raw spitter, so we already know. Just being there. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I, I have a preference, but you know, I'm gonna leave it to the imagination. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a pleaser. Period. You feel me? Oh. You feel me? I'm a pleaser. <laughs> So just for the I mean, you can kind of go through my recording, recording right now on the King's Council, King's Kiki, y'all see TTV. The voice of TTV is in the building, and we want to let the record show that Chris said he is a pleaser. So that means whatever you want him to do, he's your private dancer, dancer for money. Okay. Do what you <laughs> want yes, yes, him yes, yes, to I, do. Listen, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I mean since we're here and then I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go so I can bring up Chris now Reese, Reese, I think we need uh, Reese, I think we need them to make an appearance on the show show uh -huh. I think well TTV you know what I think I can make that happen uh, you need to definitely make all three of them on the yeah you need to make that happen yeah period yeah, we need to make that happen. Not, okay not. we'll pull up so take hat since you're here the girls and the ghouls and the goblins have been going up for you too. So, are you single? Is the question. Yep, I'm single. There we go. He said, "Yep, he's single." A little light bright. That's a little light bright, y'all. Y'all <laughs> got to get them while they're hot before it gets too cold. And he's rolling out, so I mean, be it for it. Now, the chocolate drop. <laughs> give me, give me, put the camera. On the chocolate <laughs> drop. Chocolate drop. Chocolate drop. Yeah, Comment. Single. <laughs> But yes, I'm single. Not Ooh. really looking for a relationship right now. Just vibing. Oh. Okay, so you just looking to fuck. Got it. Oh, he just playing that. Dick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm here for I'm here to Dallas, so I'm just trying to focus on a couple things and, you know, make my way out here. That's all. Love Money, love is, love to Money is to be made no matter how you make it. No Speaking of that. Shit. Does anybody, anybody over there, does any of y'all have any OnlyFans? Because we will go and support. No, I, I got kids, though. Oh. I got two real ones. A little girl and a little boy, nine and ten. Oh, Ooh. that's why you single. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Not that's why you single. Well, that's why he oh like, that's why he for he a top, y'all. Y'all got to make the connections. He say he got kids. I'm that verse. Like, verse. I'm a pleaser. I'm a pleaser. All right, then. Well, we heard it now. I don't got no OnlyFans, you know, but I be getting requests. You know, I be doing my little gym posts and shit like that, you know, so mm. people be wondering what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So they be like, you know, the OnlyFans or whatever, but, I, you know, I have Well, I don't know about all that. Like, my, you know, career path and stuff like that be kind of like, eh, you know. Okay. I understand. As a rapper, you got to play it safe. Well, the Win Twins, it's some twins in there. The Oh, okay. He said he sell video. So mind y'all, y'all go, y'all give us um your social I'm media. I'm sliding to the then... DM. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? If you really want uh, to know, can I, can I can I ask two questions really quickly, uh, please? Um, yeah, thank you. Um, what what's y'all signs? One by one, what's y'all signs? I'm a Pisces. I'm a Virgo. I'm a motherfucking Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we best friends. Come on, Taurus. Period. Okay. <laughs> and, la and last thing to to the Taurus. Um, you said you dabble in creating jewelry. I actually work uh, in the jewelry industry. I've been in the jewelry industry for about nine years. I came from the water ready to wear, but I actually work for a uh, luxury jewelry uh, company here. That's actually what brought me here. That's my career path, you know? 
Jesus. sales, right. jewelry sales, styling, creative, you know, and all that. But okay, yeah, so you, I but you, you, okay, but you dabble in real jewelry, like real jewelry, right? Oh, that's all we do. Like, I don't, I don't wear fake jewelry. We don't sell. Period. Period. I, we, I, I'm, I am a jewelry guy. Okay, like we don't really, you know, I don't want to really. It can be like all like that, but like you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a good. Okay. I'm not. A, I'm not a toxic Taurus, Cammy. I'm not a toxic Taurus. I'm a good. One. I know okay. my vices. I'm fixed. All right, look at the comments. The comments, the girls, they know I love my diamonds. I'm like, okay, so we got a, we got a, we got a jewelry connect, period. Okay. Okay, got a jewelry plug Pull in up the on me. Okay. Thank you so much, Chris, for coming up and bringing your homies by. Make sure you Thank guys you go and follow Shift Network on Instagram at Watch Shift Network right now so that y'all can see all the updates on this brand spanking new show that's about to hit the streets of Dallas. Thank you for coming having us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming up. We love you guys, and we will be in touch and watching to see what y'all got coming. I'm excited. Ciao. Take care. Hello, Chris. What's going on? What's happening, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Oh, it's what's happening for me. So, for <laughs> those of you who do not know Chris, this light skin, light bright. If y'all haven't seen the trailer, for, or excuse me, or the teaser for G Status ATL Hustle, make sure y'all go over to their YouTube channel, go over to their Instagram. Chris, introduce yourself to the people who may not know you. So, my name is Chris Easley. Um, I'm originally from Mississippi. I've been in Atlanta since 2007. I'm 29 years old. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> like you, Damn. Um, I'm a rapper, actor, songwriter, content creator. Um, I write, film, and edit all my skits. I haven't did a skit in a minute, but that's um, something that um, I went viral off of um, on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I used to be a hothead, but I kind of like have kind of converted the anger into more being more passive aggressive because I like to be in control of my emotions and everybody else's emotions in the room. I'd rather you be mad than me. I'd rather you be pressed than me. So, um, I've mastered that. I'm a cool dude. Um, I'm real as fuck. Um, I'm a go-getter. I'm very loyal to people that I know is loyal to me. If I know you're not loyal to me, I'm not loyal to you. You don't deserve that. Um, I'm outspoken. I'm blunt. That's the reason why a lot of motherfuckers in this season could not take me. But that's cool. Um, cool. I'm still going to remain to be who I am, my authentic self. And, yeah, it's a lot more to learn. But you guys will see that in the season when November 20th, um, you know, all around. Sense. So, I mean, <laughs> it seems like you and Tater Great said some very similar things. Why do you think that y'all are at odds right now? We are at odds because, well, I'm not at odds because I don't give a fuck about him more than he give a fuck about me, obviously, because I've been knowing this little troll for like a few Ooh. months and he felt the need to keep attacking me. I respond occasionally. Mm -hmm. Um, I really don't respond most of the time because I actually got real life shit going on. I got a lot going on, so I don't be having time to be keeping up with the G, the G status shenanigans. Um, I feel like the miss, like the thing, when I started really fucking, when I first seen him, my nurse, my first reaction, like he said with me was like, damn, he handsome, you know, he cute, he can dress. I'm gonna look at him like, you know, I feel like I'll take him under my wings like a little brother. Mm -hmm. But when I started realizing that he's like a messy ass little girl, Ooh. that kind of killed that. Um, so I was just like, I can't fuck with him. And then you young. Um, it's cool with you being young. If I can, like, I feel like I can guide you. But, like, he just, mm. like, a little chihuahua. He just do a lot of this. He like to be in the mix. I feel like he started beefing with me because it was popular to do so. He felt like, uh, like, G-Status this season, I must say, have a lot of delusional-ass bitches Ooh. that try to cloud chase off of who they feel like is going to really wake the season up for real. They do it because it's popular and a lot it's a lot of cloud chases this season, honestly. Mm. And um uh, I feel like what went wrong with us is um when I noticed that he was an instigator, I oh. kinda like pulled back from him. 
I wasn't really clinging to him. He was the first one to send me a DM trying to hang out, trying sure. to be cool. Um, he invited me to Shiraz event. Um, I did not go. Mm. I'm glad Why didn't I didn't. Go to the event? I mean, it wasn't nothing. I mean, they said it was like 10 people, and this ain't no shade, but they said it was like 10 people to show up. So I feel like, you know, I'm glad I didn't go. I didn't miss shit. So that's, oh. you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. But I feel like after that, he probably felt like maybe got the vibe that I feel like I'm better than everybody when that wasn't the case. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I just was, I don't fuck with Shirai like that. And that was the, that event came about after me and Shirai had had an incident occur at a photo shoot that we had. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? His energy was fucked up. And I'm not a type of nigga that to fake kick shit for no, with nobody. Like, if I feel like your energy is off mm -hmm. or you rub me the wrong way, I'm not going to show up to your event. I don't give a fuck if camera time involved or not. Like, I'm staying, I'm, I'm staying the fuck in the crib or, like, I'm elsewhere. I'm not about to be at your event and I know I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, like, nah. So would you say that that Sherrod, so you said that he, you don't really, you know, y'all ain't seeing eye to eye. Was there something in particular that he did that kind of made you a little shaky on him? Yeah, the energy was just real weird. It wasn't um very welcoming. It was very um agitated. Like I said in the trailer, you know, us coming in as newbies, I feel like he wasn't um welcoming to that. And when I when I pick up on you not being welcoming to me, I don't give a fuck if you are OG. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Like, I'm me. I'm lit. And if you got a problem with that or you got a problem with me being a newbie, I'm not about to sit up here and try to, like, talk to you or be cool with you. Like, his energy was just giving. It wasn't welcoming at all. Mm -hmm. And I was, I'm not the type of nigga to like kiss no bitch ass. I'm not about to kiss your ass at all. Like, I didn't kiss none of these bitches on this season ass. I feel like if you don't like me or you not welcoming, then it is what it is. Like, you stay your way and I stay mine. So from the moment that you was like, so, so from the first time you actually was in a scene with Sherrod, you're saying that he just didn't have welcoming energy at all? No, he didn't at mm -hmm. all. And that's cool. We don't, you don't have to welcome me, bitch. Like, I'm welcome already when I fucking auditioned and got cast. There it is. So, Nicole, uh -oh. like, Nicole you... Ray made a comment and she said, so did you or didn't you play in my brother face? Who is your brother, Nicole? <laughs> so, Nicole, let us know who the brother is in the comments, please, so we can get to the bottom of that, too. So, it seems as if do you think, because I asked um, Tay the Great this, do you think that there's any room for reconciliation or is just you ready to see him at the reunion? Absolutely the fuck not. I'm not fucking reconciling shit with an adolescent. He don't mm. even know how to comprehend half the shit that I'm probably going to say. So what the fuck we talking about? Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm just saying, like, you are a child. You still, I think the thing with Tater Great is I really was fun to him. I told him I was like, he was a very attractive um, guy, and I say the same thing for Shirai, but since we talking about Tater Gray, I just really feel like when I seen that he was a little messy or whatever, um, I just, like, kind of fell back, and I honestly feel like he's not at a level of maturity to have um, a conversation with me to reconcile shit. And I accept that reality. I accept the fact that we would never have that conversation to where it makes sense to me. And if I feel like it's not going to make mm -hmm. sense, I'm not going to have it. I don't give a fuck who the host is, what they ask me. I don't want to talk and talk about that. Next question. Let's move along. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't really, I don't hate him. I just really feel like, honestly, he hate me, like the majority of the cast, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's, it's nothing for us to talk about. It's no. No, we're not going to reconcile a motherfucking thing. Oh, wow. Well, let the record show that Chris he said has said that he does not want to reconcile, but to G-Status ATL Hustle, y'all need to book either TTV or myself to host this reunion so we can get to the bottom of the things of the things. Nicole, you <laughs> said it was Chance. So, what, what I do you I did not play Chance. Let me tell you this. I cannot 
It's so funny. Tay the greatest comment more on me than I was commenting on him. Damn, press. I oh, was not playing not chance. I was not playing chance at all. I really feel like me and Chance had out of the other dudes, me and him had a real genuine connection. Mm. And I really feel like, you know, me as a Scorpio, we are the most misunderstood sign. Like a absolutely. lot of people always absolutely, they, they like they just immediately just put us in a villain zone. And that's fine. I don't mind being the villain because ain't shit sweet over here for real. However, I'm not an evil person unless you drive me to be. And when it came down to him, I feel like, you know, one day I just looked up and a, a nigga was blocked. Oh, wow. So you just randomly got blocked. Yeah, he got blocked, but you know, I um seen that he had posted in his story that he's sick of the weird energy. Um, the day prior to him making that post was, um, I was going through some shit emotionally mm -hmm. that I thought that he would pick up on. He would ask me like, "Was everything okay? Like, what's going on?" Mm -hmm. He never asked me that. He just asked at his stage left, and I was like, "I'm not about to chase him. If that's what you feel like is best for you, then." you know, do what's best for you. I'm not going to chase you. But I really feel like it was fucked up because um, I just feel like he was listening to a lot of what the ops was saying about me because he was cool with them. He was clinging, them, clinging to them more. And um, it kind of like blindsided him. And he didn't give us a real chance um, so he didn't give me a real chance or us a real chance to to really see what he can be or to really get to know me for me. Yeah. I'm an emotional person. I'm moody. Sometimes I isolate myself. I don't be, want to be bothered with my own damn mama. I don't want to be bothered with nobody. Don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. It may be 30 minutes. It may be a couple of hours. It may be a couple of days. And um, I think a lot of my friends, they, they you know, uh, people that I have had any type of relationship with have not been able to respect mm -hmm. that or understand it because they... They like being around me so much. I'm the life of the party. I make people laugh. I give advice. I tell motherfuckers when they wrong. And um, I help people out. You know, I've had people to help me out as well. But I really feel like um, when I get in that, so when I switch and I get in that moody stage, they're like, damn, this ain't the Chris that, you know, I know. And Chance put upside down emojis. But mm -hmm. you already know what the fuck it is. I don't know why you putting this in the comments. You already know. You just blocked me out the blue, but it is what it is. So do you think that there's room for you and Chance to reconcile? I honestly, we reconciled on the finale trip. That was our first time meeting in person because we had already kind of like stopped talking before that. And when I seen him, I didn't act shady towards him. I didn't, I didn't act different. I was like surprised and happy to fucking actually see him and meet him in person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after that, we chilled. He came by my crib when we left out of state. Mm -hmm. from where we, you know, we didn't have, we didn't um, have any penetration sex. And um, oh. we, we, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait he wait said they did or they didn't. He said they did We did, did not have any penetration. What did, did y'all do, do, do? Huh? We talked. You know, we was into me, but it wasn't okay. penetration or anything. Let's, let's oh, it was blowjob. Since we're here, we, here, we talked. So was your mouth full or empty as you were talking? He say if he blocked somebody, it's for a reason. Well, I mean, I don't know what the reason was. I guess that was the point. You just wanted to block me and not let me know why. But it was never no hard feelings with you. Like, I was going through something at the time. The last time we talked, you didn't care to ask me um, what's going on. Um, you didn't ask me what's wrong. I was going through something. It wasn't nothing personal, even though, even though I said what I said, but like, it's cool. Like, I'm not like you do what's best for you, Justin. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is real name. Justin, you do what's best for oh. you. I'm not yeah. mad at that. It's cool. Mm -hmm. It's a billion niggas in this world. I'm not going <laughs> to, if one don't want to stick around. Mm. You heard, you heard the man, Justin. Okay, Justin. Um, <laughs> so, let the record show that he said that they did not penetrate each other, but they just basically talked. It was just why. Why is my producer respect. trying to Thank call you. me? No, I'm alive. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, child. Because you probably not supposed to be saying some of these things. So, we are just going to <clears throat> ask one last question, <laughs> and then PTV, if you got some questions. Um, <laughs> 
Do you have anything <laughs> that you would like to add? Uh, I ain't got shit to say. I'm not playing with you, Chance. Like, we can talk right now when I get off this live if you want to. Like, my number, like... Actually, Chance, you just need to go over to his house and talk. If he, Yeah, like, I'll pick you up if you... Okay, I see you, homeboy. What the fuck you talking about? Okay, I see oh, you. Lord. Chance, Who do you want to come up? You want to come up for a second and talk to Mr. Chris? And then, <laughs> you, a, and then, <laughs> you a messy ass bitch. No, I'm just good at what I do. I am not <laughs> trying to like I genuinely like Chance. Like I could honestly say out of all the niggas that I could recall like dating, I cannot just badmouth him. He's a good ass dude. Like he's so y'all dated. Dude. He said what? So y'all dated. He said, "Get him one check. Get him one second. He got to make sure his face is um together, and he got the zoo right." <laughs> well, um, okay. Well, while we wait on chance, let's switch gears a little bit. So it seems like, I mean, you know, there's a lot of girls on the show this season, this go around. How are you meshing with, like, say, um, Lady Monet? Um. Lady Monet is a funny ass bitch. I I must say she's funny. I think what we went wrong is um when we first started talking, she gave like when we both found out that we was both on the cast. We was it was at the first initial meet when we it was a group setting at a house party. We met. She put my number in her phone and stuff like that. And I honestly feel like um at that point. She wanted to kind of get close to me. And it's cool. I don't mind getting close. I don't normally let people in my circle, but I was like, you know, Lady Monet may be cool. We on the same cast. I'm I'm, I'm automatically putting people in a family zone, even if we clash, whatever. When we got to talking, the only thing that we talked about was dick and ass and um the, the latest tea. And that's okay. not my life. I don't want to be friends with a bitch that talk about just that. I don't want to be friends with a bitch that's not talking about getting some money, elevating herself, whether it's mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or financially. And I even know that I think that that would have been the dynamic of our acquaintanceship or whatever. Mm -hmm. I still respect it, Lady Monet. After that, I'm like, this is just not my girl. This is not my type of girl. And then mm -hmm. after that, you know, we started, you know, I think what, what really went uh, left is when I had said some things about some substances abuse and stuff like that. And I was joking. Substance like, abuse? Well, I'm not going to get into that. You guys will see that on the season. I'm going to try my, oh, I'm trying my best. Somebody doing powder. Are you oh. saying what? doing powder? What's powder? Okay. okay. Crap. Okay, but it's, the girl's not doing it, is it? Substance that people abuse. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the substance. Uh, listen, so. Oh, my goodness. We was on a few lives, and, you know, Lady Monday had to personally call my phone and tell me that I can't, um, you know, don't, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I don't know what the fuck. Hold on, Lady Monet. Well, damn, can you greet me first? How are you? You know, speak mm -hmm. to me first. Let's have some, you know, act like we got some home trading. I know we from mm -hmm. the South and shit, but it's some Southern people, Southern folk. You know, I'm from Mississippi. We got some Southern folk mm -hmm. that got some goddamn manners. Act like you from Alabama. I'm from Mississippi. So she's like, I apologize. Well, how you doing? I said, I'm good. She was like, well, my motherfucking nieces and my motherfucking aunties was on that live and my nephews <laughs> and, and you were up here talking about motherfucking coke. <laughs> Girl. You know, kind of like, was like, well, Lady Monet, I thought that was a party thing for you. I didn't know that you was like struggling with that or that was an issue for you. And after that, I apologized to her and I moved forward. And we was good. But after that, the issue lied when she started like fat shaming my bitch, my homegirl, Nicole. And mm. she was like, like a lot of them, they dragged her talking about her weight. Nicole is an unbothered bitch, but it's still the fact that y'all sit up here and talk about this girl weight, like trying to bring her down and shit like that and talk about her weight. And I, me being the overprotective friend that I am, I came in and said some shit, and I was like, how the fuck you on this live talking all this shit, and you got some shit started with her, and a, 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 other, a, a few other cast members, but you say that show good sis. I'm not gonna get into the details, you guys will see it when the show come out, 
Mm -hmm. I'm under a motherfucking NDA. I don't want to lose my job. I already lost it like three times for breaching the country, for putting my hands on people and, and oh, saying Lord. shit. I can't keep doing it. I got respect for, you know, Mr. Kelly Allen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But other than that, I really honestly feel like, no, I'm not going to get into details, y'all. I'm a professional at the end of the day. I'm not about to do that. But I feel well, like that's where... You tea already now. <laughs> I mean, it's on, it's on lives and shit if you go and watch it, honey. But, yeah, it was just, well, I think that's, please do the Monet voice one more time. <laughs> like, listen, she, I can't do, I can't talk no deeper than she can. But, uh, <laughs> girl <laughs> lady monday still got that testosterone up in there somewhere you hear me Ooh, oh, uh, my God. oh my they, goodness they said you fucked out well you know i am i am fucked out in a good way like i'm fucked out like i fuck who i want to fuck when i want to fuck them i get fucked by who i want to fuck get fucked by when i want to get fucked by them mm. you know what i'm saying but what's wrong with that I don't give a fuck about, like, I really don't care. Like, the thing is, a lot of bitches on this show be trying to hide shit that they really do. And they get mad when I expose them for their, you know, their cocaine and all of this other stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I don't, okay, you know. Monet Mo Mo said add her, honey. Mm -hmm. going on. Monet like, Mo so said add her. Do you, would, you, would you like, do you mind adding if we had Lady Monet up here? Go ahead and add Lady Monet so she can read me to her motherfucking, so she out of breath, because I'm going to just sit here and listen. All That's right. right. Make it high, honey. Let's get Lady That's Monet. right. This is G Status Season 3, November 20th. I'm going to I'm 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 stop you right here, Parasite Pussy. Now, this is what I'm going to say. You a lying ass bitch. You know what the fuck you did. You fucked out slut monkey, fucking dog mouth, gator mouth, pit bull, right. hot shit, bruff having ass bitch. Yes, you know, I really you, lady you know I will beat you the fuck up when I see you, bitch. Now, I don't give a fuck about calling your really? friend fat. I don't give a fuck about you. Now, this is what I'm saying. How okay. many niggas have you fucked? I don't know. I lost count, Lady Mo. I How know many you did, you... girl. All the feet the ass you suck and fuck on Miss Jack, girl. That's, oh, my God. That's that why ain't... your gums bleed. Bitch, you got Ephlete's breath. That's not girl. the... Oh, that's not... <laughs> girl, if, <laughs> if, not if hideous breath was a... <laughs> bitch, if hideous breath was a crime, bitch, they'll give you the lethal injection. Bitch, when you gonna take that bunny off? Girl, it like doesn't matter, girl. You bitch. fucked out. The only thing you With can your talk about, girl, I can read you based on your booty hole. Ass, your booty hole have parasites because you fucked your bitch, mama's step. You fucked your mama husband. Now let's talk about that. Bitch. You fucked your mama With husband, your gave him some dirty parasites. Now let's talk about that. You disgusting ass slut, monkey. Girl, let's pull out the receipts on your pussy that said dot dot dot. The receipts on your pussy that said dot dot. Nigga, the only thing you have, the only thing you have to look up to, girl, but you fuck out. You, you doing all this receipt. motherfucking talking now, but when you I see you in the street, you ain't gonna do that. But you pull the receipts on your pussy that say receipt. dot dot dot. The do same disease that you gave your motherfucking, the same disease that you gave your stepdaddy that you fuck. You nasty. You fucked Bitch, your you step daddy. Can get around, you fucked your step daddy and gave your mama the clout pussy. Bitch, you fucked you your step daddy, burnt him, and gave your mama the clout pussy, bitch. And that's the the what the fuck the you did. Girl, please, I'm gonna slap the fuck out of you when I see you. I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna touch you. Do you know it. I am. And I ain't worried about how to do Lady Monet. And you right, know that. Lady Monet, do Girl, what you have. Girl, you do. Girl, fuck you in that fair bitch ass booty hole that grab. Your booty hole is worn out and thrown the fuck away. Your asshole has left the country and been packed up and left the country because you're tired of being fucked over. Girl, you have been fucked so many times, it's a crime. Okay. You wait, money, 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 hold up. Take hold up. numerous of dick. Hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Nasty ass, wait, 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 dunk wait, wait, wait. Take that bunny off, though, bitch. Girl, pick your ass take up. Hold on, hold on. Your whole dog dropped out of you, girl. Your whole dog. Bitch, drop. you done moved about three apartments in Atlanta in six months. And girl, you stay in a efficiency two. You stay in a cubicle ass two. You stay in a two by four ass room, bitch. Get out of here, girl. You pay two hundred dollars. You unfixed ass bitch, girl. And you, you don't, don't have shit, no motherfucking money. You're, you're, you're un, it doesn't matter, girl. My pussy bill, my pussy bill is more than your rent, bitch. I can sell pussy and pay your rent, hoe. I can sell pussy and pay your. 
Drop your address. We close by. Drop your bitch down now. We close yeah. by. We're close by. Monet, we'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Oh, that dried up ass. Girl. Fucking cool makeup. Bitch, shut the I fuck up. To, since I had to drop you down, girl. Oh my God. That went from zero to 60 so quick. What is the problem with y'all? I was just, I don't know. I was just having a conversation with her and she just like really just like started going in on me. I didn't say much. Like, why is she so upset? Why is Tay upset? Why is the others upset? Like, all they talk about is me. Like, is it the Chris show? Do we need to switch the G status brand around? Status TV network. Then it went to OMS, OMS TV. Like, at this point, just name it the Chris Network. Because all these hoes is mad. <laughs> Not the Chris Network. Not the Chris Network. <laughs> what would be... What would like, be I'm not about to... Like, I'm, listen. So, is everybody just that pressed over you this season? So are we not going to ask the obvious question, Reese? Yeah, it that is be. very rhetorical, Reese. Did, 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 did you really fuck your mama's husband? What the fuck is she talking about? Okay, now that right there, I I like I feel like she got that from an a ex-best friend of mine who want to be in the mix so bad. He auditioned for G-Status and didn't make the cut, and I brought him on, our, on here as a friend of, and the uh, only reason why he got promoted who to is the that? Cast is because production said that he had to contractually be legally blinded because he knew too much to leak to the public. That's the only so who, reason why who, that bitch got who, moved, who fucked up, friend? the supporting cast, right? But anyway, that bitch went and told motherfuckers, it was a day I was out at a grocery store. I see my mama ex-boyfriend here in Atlanta who is from Mississippi out. I took a picture with him. Um, I told my mama, I called her, and she was just like, my mama, with her trust has issues, having ass, she was just saying some shit like, Oh, what you gonna fuck him or some shit like that? I'm just like, mama, what what the fuck is you talking about? Like, cause my mama mm -hmm. know I have dealt with a lot of DL men. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I just feel like because she got trust issues, she feel like I my mama didn't even believe that shit. She was just talking to her ass, like just being emotional. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? So I told my ex my best friend at the time about that. Now mm -hmm. that we don't fell out, he done went to spread narratives and ex um, spreading negative, um, 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 narratives and exaggerating and telling motherfuckers that I'm scared to go home because I, I, I fuck my nigga man and all, I mean, I fuck my mama man and all type of shit like that. I'm like, I did not do nothing with this nigga. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? And you up here lying. Like, he lied about a lot of shit. When the show come out, y'all gonna actually see that. I my can't goodness. wait for November 20th. My oh my goodness. is blowing my phone up. This may be the best. I don't know why. This is good tea. This is good. This is good this may be publicity. The best of G Status ATL Hustle today. I just want huh? y'all to know G Status ATL. Y'all are in the family. building. Y'all need to hire TPV or myself I to did. host the reunion because we get into the bottom of the thing. This go around. It may be worth the wait, y'all. I don't give a fuck. Like this ain't even like I don't this is. You tell KL. We said this is good publicity. I know he can hear me. This is good publicity. Oh. We are here for it. November twentieth, baby. This season, season three is going to be Liddy. Period. Okay. Keep it. So Chris, I ain't gonna. I don't want to get you in trouble, child. I don't want to get you in trouble. Okay. We are tuned in. Okay. So. Okay. I got if y'all have finish. not, okay. if y'all have not seen the teaser for you would like to see Reese as the host of the reunion. I mean, Period. I'm already booked. Clear, I was the girl that blazed the trail. So I mean, when you started, let's keep it going. And I just I got a question for you, Reese, because you know you was obviously the villain in last season of Dallas. You know, well, Scorpios, we always the, the problem. How did you deal with that? You know, with everybody not liking you. You know, you a gorgeous guy. You know, you got it going on. You are the boss of all bosses. Like, how did you deal with that? I dealt with it. I would say season three was my biggest learning experience because I dealt with it with a clear understanding that you may not like me, but as long as you respect me, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, they that show can still continue on because it was put together the right way the first time. So with anybody that... Thank you for the follows, you guys. Yeah, definitely go and follow him. You guys go follow G-Status ATL on Instagram and make sure you guys go subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, I mean, if you feel like now, one thing I can say that you have to do 
you have to own your part in every situation and then try and reach some type of reconciliation because you are you you kind of be hitting 30 in a little bit so you know try and get you some uh, let me tell you something some Reese. when it comes down to the age i don't give a fuck about that i thank god I have a personal relationship with God, and I tell you know I tell him every day, thank you for allowing me to see you know three decades of living. But mm -hmm. um, I'm still going to be who I am. Let me tell you something. I got my own car. I got my own place. I live alone. No roommates. I ain't sleeping on nobody's floors or couches. I have before, and it is mm -hmm. what it is. But I came a long way, and I have in the past been a people pleaser. Every Thing that I did seems to be a problem in friendships, relationships, and everything. After a while, you feel like you're the problem. But when I did some soul searching, I feel like I had a lot of people that was intimidated and envious of me around me. Half these people are working regular jobs. And there's nothing wrong with working a regular job, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people have, um, they, like, they have, like, you know, said I was doing too much. I was doing this. They, they know we're near as far in life as I am. And it's only mm -hmm. up from here. So I feel like you now think? I live, I'm a, I'm a unapologetically me. I have apologized to bitches. I have goddamn said a lot um, of shit that I have taken accountability to, but I feel like a lot of other people have not did that. And when everybody, um, when everybody start having an issue with me, I'm just like, damn, well, Chris, are you, are you the problem? And I started realizing that I don't give a fuck if I am because I have been authentic. A lot of people mm -hmm. do a lot of shit for the cameras. They feel like I do because I'm comical. Well, if you knew me before this reality TV shit, I have did skits. I went viral several times for making fun of people doing um, fucking reactions to videos and stuff like that just for fun. You know, not mm -hmm. to belittle nobody, not to like hurt nobody feelings or nothing like that, but that's just who I am. And when I came on this show, a lot of people can take that and a lot of people mm -hmm. doing what they feel like they should do to be the star. Because I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Any Most people that get on reality TV, their goal is always to be the star. And mm -hmm. those type, like, and it's okay. But when you're doing the most and you're not your authentic self, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what a problem lies with me. I, I I came in this authentically being myself, not being perfect, but being authentically myself. So a lot of yeah. people do what they feel they should do to be the most talked about, to be in the blogs, to be the most relevant, to be the star. I didn't come in in, in this situation being like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people knew that because the same person that I am on camera is the same person that I am off camera. That's the best way to be. Well, it's Chris, thank you about so authenticity. Thank you so, so much for coming up. Y'all can catch Chris on this season of G Status ATL Hustle. Make sure you guys go and subscribe, like, and share on their channel as well as go like, subscribe, and share to TTV Network. That's going to give you all of the things. One last question, Chris, and I'm going to let you go. If there is another season of G Status ATL Hustle, would you come back? After I talk to the executive producer and see if he makes some executive decisions to not bring certain people back, I probably would. And okay. um, if I see that certain things are put into certain prospects and um, perspectives and dealt with differently next season than it was this season, probably so. If okay. not, I'm out and I'm on to the next platform and I'm continuing to do me. All right. However, well, I love on TV. I love KL. He's the best executive producer out. He's good with communication, and we have a personal relationship. I love him death, um, to death. He's done a really good job this season, and I, um, it's definitely going to blow the other seasons through the water. The dynamic, the vibe is definitely going to be captivating for you guys. So I'm excited for you guys to see it on November 20th, two days after my birthday. All right. Well, I am ready for it, too. We can't wait to see the season. Thank you so much, Chris, for coming up, and we will see you on the screens, honey. All right. See you later. All right. Well, well, baby, it has gotten really heated up in the Kiki tonight. On the Honey, Kiki. that was a lot. That was a lot. That gave a lot. But as y'all see, baby, Queen of Reeves, Lady Monet, she is not <laughs> here for Chris, and neither is Tater Gray. So it seems like he's going to be the one to watch this season. What's the thing? Oh, girl. Where have you been? Don't don't get mad. I just it's a long story. We'll talk. 
Oh, Lord. Is that Chance? Hi, what's going on? Chance, my goodness, Chance, my goodness, Chance, you were a topic, honey. So basically, you and Chris munched on each other, and then you blocked him. What's oh, my. I... <laughs> Allegedly. What's going on? What's going on? Um, uh, <laughs> the thing Allegedly. is, when it comes to uh, Homeboy, it's just like, he just wasn't being honest. Um, but did you munch? Yeah, I, I munched on the butt. Yeah, I ate the okay. butt. Yeah, I ate the... That's, that's... Um, How did it taste? It was all right. Um, yeah, I just, I, I'm just not. The thing is, it's it was just too much going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't like that he got up here and tried to play victim. Like you definitely know, like what you was doing. You know the plethora of men that you were sleeping with. Wow, oh, Lord. Or whatever. So it's just like, don't get on the live and just act like I didn't block you for no reason. Like the trailer didn't just reveal, you know, all your sexcapades and the stuff that you claim. Oh, do we know doing any of that you was um, I mean, I'm sure. I, I mean, it, I'm sure it's the mailman, the milkman, the the uh, the the lady at the cash register. It can't be the milkman. They the ain't ranch. got one of them no more. Um, it, it could be anybody, but the thing is, I just feel like I was being real with someone that wasn't being all the way honest with me. And if you want to get fucked every which way from here to Sunday, then you know that's your that's that's your prerogative. That's your business. But let me know. Don't have me. So you was you here. had liked the goodies. You was liking the goodies, but the goodies were getting passed out. The good well I I'm I mean I'm just not sound a, like you liked it. That's I'm not a fan of like. I'm not a fan of used goods. You get what I'm saying? Like okay, so had the jar been on the goodies, you would have been able to keep dipping your honey pot. Yeah, your like we, we, all, pot. we all love like a fresh back of a, a fresh batch of cookies. We don't like I mean cookies sometimes that you like a little loose bag. You know, you got that little No, no, no. You know, I, I, I like my cookies fresh. I don't want nothing that's been, you know, a cookie jar that's been dipped in and out of since before Christ. Like I'm good off of that. So Ooh. the thing is just some mature cookies. Some mature cookies? Yeah, those are just what you call mature cookies. I mean, <laughs> mature cookies. The mature cookies is like some that's been sitting out. You let them cool off a little bit. Okay. Not okay, not okay. like okay. crumbs. Not like stuff that's just been bitten out of. And it's just you know, it's like, hey, can I get a piece? Yeah, you could get a piece, girl. You want a piece too? Oh, I don't you like don't want no pass cookies. around cookies. Yeah, that's the oh, thing. So I just okay. feel like I'm a bit annoyed because it's like. You 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 try to play in my face. Mm. Not try to play in your face. You get what I'm saying? So he so, he made you feel like you he liked you and you was the only one, but the cookie jar right. was getting just busted wide open. Right. Pretty much. You know, pretty much it was given, you know, the, the grandkids came over for the weekend, you know, TT and, and all nine of her kids up. came over and their grandkids <laughs> came over and everybody was like, Ooh, let me ooh, 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 ain't fun unless the homie could get everybody a cookie just too, got you know? piece of So cookie. It's just like I don't like the narrative that he spun and it's just like even he getting on there talking about I let people get in my head. If Tom, Dick, Harry, Sally, Amy, Johnson, uh, Justin, Cassandra, and everybody saying that Not you're a family. hoe, what well, did did Tom, Cassandra, and and Tommy and Jimmy and all them? Did you did you see them get some cookies? No, I don't think they got no cookies. I'm pretty sure if they wanted to, they could have. It's definitely an open door policy, but I don't think they got any cookies or anything. My thing is this though: if I bring you up to people that's not even on the show. Mm -hmm. and they can and they don't no one had nothing good everybody that was like yeah you know i've been chatting with chris I, I, I. no one had nothing good to say everyone had this this elaborate story on you know how his rectum spreads across the lands and everybody then had the peace and he's an alcoholic and all this other stuff so i just wait hold like, on we gotta put allegedly i'm gonna we're not gonna, oh uh, I'm gonna allegedly, just say allegedly. My bad. so the fact that you you doing all of that, and I'm still being nice. I'm still giving you, you know, a chance. I, and I've been hearing about this stuff for a while, but it just mm -hmm. got to the point where it's just like, okay, well, what's really good? Like, because what, what, what's going on here? I need to know what's going on. So you had liked them cookies. I didn't even get it. I didn't really. I only That's tasted the cookie one time. 
But you see, okay, so friend, I'm just gonna break it down because you know, as the cookie mm -hmm. monster, I'm just gonna say this. Yes, cookie. It sounded like what had happened was some friends had got got some news about his famous Amos, and they just came back and told <laughs> you about their chips ahoy. And what mm -hmm. had happened was you was filling them Oreos at first, and then the people came back and started talking about his chips ahoy, and it kind of bothered you. Yeah, and so even look see, in the comments. Look in the you, comments. It's the show not even out yet. It's people calling him garbage guts and uh, oh stank God. mouth and all that. This well, he is might got crazy. a bad tooth. He got a bad tooth because you know if you got that bad tooth that's sitting in the bed, you know sometimes that can cause a little, you know. Oh my God! And, and it's just like know it's just like you all like I don't have nothing bad to say, but you you know okay. what you be like, homeboy. You know what you be doing the little subtle stuff like you on here giving out my government and stuff, you know. So it's just like because what I just said that was cute, that was light shade, you know. I didn't even really get into it how I could really get into it, but we're not going to get into it because the streets been talking long before me, and they probably will be long after me. You get what I'm mm. saying? So it's just like. I'm 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 good. Like if you want to be shady, that's fine. Your anus has mileage on it. You're the you're, you're well, the best on, that ever done it or whatever. Let, so can't just, say that wait, wait, are, are you okay. saying this live is sponsored by mouthwash? Like Why? This is list of rain sponsored by. But the thing is, I don't like that because again, I was being genuine with someone and you try to play in my face and you're gonna get on this live mm. and play victim and so you know it's cool i didn't really want to get up here with him because i'm not really a fan of arguing with liars and stuff but you know i will be at the reunion you know so um we'll definitely have this conversation and you know it's cool i wish him the best yes i did i did what's best for me you know it's all types of sex demons and souls somebody locked said in, in the comments, shit. Somebody um, said in the comments was it clean when you ate it yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't no fudge nut brownie cookie. Mm -mm. I won't. I won't. I won't dig him like that. Like the, it was clean. The body is nice. You know. He said he enjoyed the cookies, y'all. Somebody else. Just, yeah, it, somebody good. else just said, "What smelled better, his mouth or his booty?" Damn. Um, definitely. Um, the the ass is more refreshing than the mouth. Oh. Um, oh, okay. I'm, I don't. I don't know. You know. So it's safe to say y'all didn't kiss. No, that's the thing. That's how I started. My eyes started tearing up because so you before we left, you know, I gave him a little peck or whatever, and I caught a whiff of it. So I'm like, damn, yet another rumor confirmed to be true. And oh it's just God. like, you know, it is. I just don't don't play in my face because I I let you slide with the breath thing. Like I was limping to my Uber because the odors really like knocked out my senses. I lost my oh sense my. of direction. Oh my. I was like all woozy and stuff. So I had, had a really, disoriented taste. Yeah, like I I had lost my equilibrium. I didn't even know what Not which way was left, right, northwest or south. But please don't don't play this with me. This is why y'all can't take me seriously. No, well, I'm just, I'm just I'm playing, y'all. Chris, you know, Chris, you know, you cool peoples or whatever. You're a whore, but you cool peoples like this is the problem. <laughs> like, we're good. like you, you do your thing. You out here in these streets. I'm, I'm sure that the peoples, the reviews are coming back in. It's not so good. It's not, it's not looking cute for you. I think not you much in our biscuits. Um. You know, but it, it's cool. I just think he need to change that engine that he got running on the back of him 24-7, seven days a week, uh, 365 <laughs> days a year. Put a little bit and of gush water. We'll be fine. Just don't get on this live and play with me. Don't put my government name out there. Don't, don't play with me because your mouth gets crazy and my mouth gets crazier too. It's just I don't need a dick for that. So oh my. don't. What a dick got to do with it, Chance? Huh? What a dick got to do with it? Oh, it has it has everything to do with it. That's that's like a, a normal day floss for him. But anyways, but you let uh, hold on. But you let okay. You said this man's mouth was horrible. But you let him put your you put your little weenie in there. That's the thing. Now. That's the thing. I didn't know that until yeah, afterwards because he comes up here and he tries to act like I'm a follower I let all these people people been telling me these things about you but I gave you a chance no pun intended to try to prove these things wrong 
and you did nothing of the such. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, but don't get up here and try to be funny because we could be funny. You get what I'm saying? Because I honestly feel like if the comedy skits landed, like the cum shots lands in your rectum, then oh maybe God. it would have took no. off by now. You get what I'm saying? Allegedly. But please don't come up here and play on my time. Okay, you know all that's alleged. Yeah, uh, uh, allegedly. Well, the skits not being funny is not alleged. That's that's a that's a true fact. That's, that's allegedly. Pop, pop, by popular opinion, I feel like that's a fact. But yeah, like you know, somebody said, joking. but you let him I'm munch just, on your bird. Yeah, I, yeah, he, you know, he he munched on it, whatever, whatever. I ain't gonna lie I, did he do a good I, job? I, I, I munched on a lot of bird, and I be smell. I can smell your breath. If, but I, I mean, sex is sex, so. Y'all was yeah. hunching, hunching and touching and feeling. You ain't see that, and just no whiff went by. It's like, whoa, let's not. No, it work. honestly didn't. Not until I got close. And it, it's okay. It's okay. The mouth stank, but the booty was I, good. Yeah, to it's go. okay. Look, that I'm not. You, you know, he he wanted to put our business out there. Yes, he sucked me up. I was the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, ninth, tenth, whatever. Probably won't be the last. Damn we got it. His famous last, is famous. You know okay, we got it. So, we got that. His aim is his famous. Famous. The mouth is too. Any hole on his body, I'm pretty sure the nostrils, the ears, the what, what, what other the the eye socket too. Maybe if he was missing one, he probably used that for penetration. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm a comedian, you know. Okay. I'm a comedian. I'm a new comedian. I'm just being funny. This is what I do. You get what I'm saying? It's Chance mm. J. This is just dark humor. Don't take me serious, okay, Chris? Don't take me serious. I'm just joking. But well, for um, the record, everybody, yeah. Chance has confirmed that he is a top. So y'all go slide to his DM. Oh, and... Chance been I'm told that he used that bird. Oh, like I didn't know. I ain't never heard. Wait, 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 wait. What's bird? The... A bird? Yeah. It's your penis. Oh, okay. We call oh, it a I bird. But um, you know, Chris was cool. You know, the 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 facade he put on, the person that he faked to be to me, he was nice. You know, cool, caring, or whatever. It's just all a lie. Well, Dion said you verse changed. So um, I don't know what I I don't know what Dion. You must have woke up from that dream. But um, nah, I'm playing y'all. If I feel look, I do what I want to do. If I feel like I want to. The dance is a top. Dance is a top with bower bottom tendencies. Yeah, okay, so we, chance we, them cookies be up go. on the chopping block sometimes. Um, mm. not not in a while. Probably but you would be down for old nasty verse session. Yeah, it depends. You know, you you know, maybe maybe I don't know them them niggas you just had up here earlier. One of them they could qualify. No cap. Who was up um, here? Who I miss? Who was up here earlier? Uh, <laughs> you miss it, girl. You miss it, girl. But, if, they um, feel, if they feel in the comments, we might have to bring them three specimens back up here. If uh, oh, I gotta uh, see that, I miss some good deal. You know what I miss? No, oh, you missed it, Reese. I mean, in the comments, y'all can uh, come on back up. Rico. It's a um, Rico. It's a new show coming to Dallas. That they're on. Not chance needs think, a woman. Ain't that is that the one with the fire baby with the tattoos on them? Or is that another show? One of them got tattoos on the cast. I think I follow them. It's got this dark, dark one with the bald head. It's fine as fuck. It's but, the um, mm, yeah, mm, you know, mm. um, I'm chilling. Nicole, not Nicole, Nicole Sky, sweetie, in the comments. I know you, Chris, friend. I think you should stop throwing yourself uh, in the fire for homeboy mm. because, hmm, yeah, if, yeah, you should just let him handle his stuff because I don't really think, so you know, chance, that's your friend. Question. But, um, oh, there's a question. Rico got a question for you, Chance. What, what's the question? How big that bird? Um, <laughs> I don't get no complaints. Damn, I'll my question, though. I asked you for a I, number I, five. I I, I'm not going to answer that one. Live, man. It's, it's cute, though. Is it cut it, or uncut? Oh, it's definitely cut. It's cut Ooh. pretty. One whole you know, complexion full of air. Same complexion as me. Brown, melanin, chocolate. You get what mm. I'm saying? Like, it's, it's cute. But Is it grainy? <laughs> I'm about to get up off of here. I'm just going to run. All right. I ain't even to run you all. No, it, well, no, that's the last. It, it's, it's veiny, but, um, you know, I'm a... 
I'm a, not curve the Monet. People want to always want to got a curve to it. Where to go right or left? We have a curve. I'm fucking dead. You go right or left. But look, you know, I'm done with that, Chris. Yeah. You know, if you see this, I'm pretty sure someone's screen recording. You know, I'm just a comedian. Oh, I'm I'm just joking. Um, I it's a bite sized mini. Oh, who was that? You I mean, but sometimes I before? like I like the little bite sized snickle balls. That's JT. That's you can JT eat it up in one go. Oh, I don't know. He ain't never seen my dick before. But um, what they say? I, see, I'm gonna yeah, start calling um, people on that. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Ooh, Miguel, you know, I'm good off that. that. You my crushes. Stop that. But yeah, ain't no smoke, bit, Chris. Oh, we'll we'll talk at up. the reunion. I'll be sure to bring some gifts, some some floss, some toothpaste, some Listerine, some some mm. mouth strips, all of that good stuff. But wow. you guys have a good night. Have a good night. It said, do it curve up or down. Yeah, I gotta go, y'all. Good night, y'all. Well, you have a good, good night, Sam. <laughs> See, I asked the questions that people want to know. Y'all be sugarcoating. Yeah, but I don't want to know. Since you was late, I, I don't want to know. know. But no shade, Rico. Since you was late, one of the boys is still in the in the um in the chat, child. They were some cutie patooties, girl. You could have had your. Oh, bring it back! Come here, cutie. Come on, cutie. Come back to the shop block. Come here. Is Pay Cash still in here? Or is come here, boy. Um, bring that here. here. Come to Garcon. Garcon. Reese, don't don't Garcon forget this. Don't forget fine. to save this live. Of course, I will save it for twenty four hours, maybe eight hours, just long enough. Baby, if he a garçon, he fine because all the boy garçons are fine. I don't, I don't think he a garçon. I was just saying, come day garçon because that means come here. Oh, boy. come on, God, come on, day garçons, come on, come on, day okay. garçon. Okay, 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 child, you missed it, girl. Lady Monet had them read out that child. Oh no, that that's that ain't nothing. We if Lady Monet read, that's not new. Now, she gonna read now. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a Garcon man in here, Lord Jesus. When I tell you that man right there. Don't talk about that man right now. I don't like him. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that man. No. Oh yeah, you on this on that show with him. Yeah, he's too fine. I don't, I can't like. Yeah. I can't. Uh, can't Rico, where the right fuck there. you been at? Yeah, where you been? I ain't, at? No, I ain't gonna lie, bitch. I got here late from work, took a shower, and sat on the bed and fell asleep. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's how it happened. <laughs> be a whole had a long day. Mm-mm. And I open. I literally closed my eyes. Closed. I opened my eyes like, what the fuck? And looked at the time. I was like, how did the fuck I go to sleep for a whole hour? Child, because you, you, I showed sent you the live. I was like, Yeah, either she fucking asleep. That's all I thought of. Night. It was sleep, it, 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 <laughs> it was a long time. Okay, uh, very, very well. Me and her, she came through because you and K Star damn sure dropped the ball. K Star didn't even, I'm K-Star so I, I came through at the end. At least I showed up. I'm right, K Star ain't even show up. I said, Oh, girl, I'm gonna have some words for her when we back at it. Ooh, I can't wait. I had to, to come up. I woke up my eyes like, oh my God, I left them. I left them without coming. I gotta get on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least I got a little piece of the last little bit. I got a little piece. Yeah. I got a little piece. Yeah. Well, child, I was trying to bring up the cuties again, but child, they, I don't think nobody down there. Mm. So, well, this was good, though. This, this was, was good. good. What all good. tea did we steal? Let's do a recap before we go. TTB? Uh, honey, put it like this. Uh, Tay read the fuck out of uh, uh, Chris. Chris came up, read the fuck out of Tay. Mm-hmm. Lady Monet came up, read the fuck out of Chris. Chris read the fuck out of Monet. They were going at it. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly Chris easily slept with his mama's uh, baby baby daddy. It's what? Just his mama ex boyfriend. <laughs> Allegedly, they saying that Chris <laughs> slept with his mom's ex boyfriend and gave him a STD that the ex boyfriend passed to his mama. But then allegedly, Chris, allegedly. allegedly, that's what Lady Monet said. But then Chris said that he had just saw his mama um, boyfriend out at a um, at the grocery store and just took a picture with him. Oh. Well, yeah, y'all got the shit started. Child, I ain't do a motherfucking thing. I can only I imagine what thing. was said on this live. Lord Jesus, I can't wait to go back and watch it. Child. It probably yeah. was best that I didn't show up till the end. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you <laughs> feeling in the, in, the, in the comments. Let me um 
Let me bring one um, up so you can speak to him. Um, oh, no. I, I got to watch Set It Off Atlanta episode two. Uh, uh, TTV, how did you feel about episode one? <laughs> oh, take cash. There he is. Oh, damn. What's your name? Take cash. Uh, 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 hold on. Let me cam up real quick. I have. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Where you from? What's your what how you going? What's up? Dallas, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Tell somebody. How old? What's your name? What's your sign? Where you from? Oh, yeah. So, somebody to turn that, turn, turn their phone down. We hear it. We hear oh, us in the back. I'm taking from Dallas, Texas. I'm a Pisces. Oh. How old are you? I'm 28. Oh, you single? Yep. What you what you into? They like a thick in Texas. <laughs> I'm a I just you just gotta show me. Like I got kids, so you just gotta show me. Oh trust me, I can show you. And I'm very motherly and nurturing and I know how to cook <laughs> clean. <laughs> and you know, all that Watch it, <laughs> Where you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Mm, I'm standing five that. five nine. Long black hair Oh my goodness. So for those of y'all that missed it earlier, Tay Cash here is gonna be on a new show hitting the airways based out of Dallas, Texas, on the shift network called Game Changers of Death. Now yeah. Rico, the gag is the gag is there's three of them. So you got there's one right there, and the one. two of them are right next to him. The, they go to other Ooh, what's your name? Where you from? What's your, what's your name? And guess. where you from? And what's your sign? <laughs> yes. Uh uh. Get off that phone. Pay attention. We having a meeting. I'm asking. You, come here. Come on to the camera, Caroline. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fine ass piece of chocolate. Come on. Ain't that it? Ooh, shit. It's like a little fine ass little acorn. Come here. Get <laughs> that ass here, boy. Well, come from behind. Let's talk. Well, what's y'all name? I'm sorry, but for real, for real, what's y'all name? What's y'all sign? Where y'all from? Well, my... <laughs> well, my name is Eric. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Mm. Eric, say it again. My name is Eric. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Oh, just say hello again. I just want to hear you talk. Just talk. Just say the alphabet. Fuck that. <laughs> Not the alphabet. Not the alphabet. <laughs> what's your this name? This why I can't have no man, because I be flirting. I'm sorry. You fine. <laughs> Now, okay, Eric, let's go to the next one. What up? That's oh, I love right there. Here. What's your name? Where you from? Where you? Where, what's your sign? I'm Chris Raw. I'm from the DMV area. Um, I'm a Taurus. Oh, Taurus. oh, come on, Taurus. That means you a you a little tough. You like a little be a little bully. <laughs> oh. How tall are you? I'm like five ten. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. And all three y'all on the show. Yeah. What y'all be doing on the show? Ooh. Ooh. That's, what we that's, a, that's, that's, that's a click right there. <laughs> Baby, this is a choo-choo. What you talking about? Not a choo-choo. Y'all shy? Y'all can't tell me what's, on, what's gonna happen on the show? We just be living, you know what I'm saying? They just following us, following our lives. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Following how we interact with each other. You know, showing so I'm guessing how you know, we all cool. out here in Dallas, you know? We the so city I'm boys. y'all cool. We the city boys. Oh, y'all, oh. I can be a city girl. What's up? Because <laughs> we can give chill, chill. What's up? Right. I heard y'all like all that in Texas. They we do. do everything big in Texas. And baby, uh -huh. when I tell you, you going to come on what you want front or back, I can give you what you like now. Okay. <laughs> you better watch we that. Gonna do, okay, so we're going to do a link up with all y'all. We're going to link up with all y'all. Don't tell me that, because Reese might not let me come. <laughs> Reese might not just let me come. Let me you say, you say you you're you you welcome. So, okay, so, okay. The premise of the show, all y'all... Uh, Rico want to be a... Well, see, I can't play like that. Okay, so, oh, so the premise of the show, of y'all being friends, so how many is it total? About eight or nine. Yeah, I think it's nine. Of us. nine. Okay, so I'm guessing y'all friends. So tell me the dynamics of all eight or nine of y'all. 
What's everybody going on? Do they, we have everybody a brief. They, everybody got their own stuff going on. Everybody got their own vibe. Like some, see. like some of us knew each other before the show. Some of us, you know, just met. Hmm. So y'all be arguing. It's gonna be a lot of arguing. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a little drama, but it's, it's a little drama, drama. but it's, yeah. it's mostly like about stuff like what we do in the city, like what we do, what every day what we do. It's just showcasing a different way of how they do it. You feel me? Mm. I feel you. I definitely feel you. <laughs> but when does it premiere? The show in January. In January. Oh, on, on, is it is it on a network or on you on YouTube? Where where can we find the show? Chef Network and YouTube. Yeah. Oh, let me go to the Now raise your hand if you're single. Yeah, I'm single. All right, make sure you follow me on this after you <laughs> drop down on this live. It's, you just click the like. Oh, Jeremy in the building. I put out. I put my social media on in the comments. Yeah. Okay. We'll, pin it. we'll, pin well just it. all you gotta do is just click the top screen. Just follow me, and then we can discuss <laughs> it. Just drop some in my inbox. All three y'all. <laughs> all right. But it, but it was nice to meet y'all, and I can't wait to watch more of the show. We might have to watch this show and review it and talk and stuff. Got to. Mm hmm. But don't look at me like that, cause that's how you can get some more kids. <laughs> don't lick your lip. Don't lick your lip at me like that. Ooh, Stop! You get drop this. <laughs> drop them bags. He's so sexually harassing me now. Thank you so much. Bye, y'all. Uh, oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah. So I gotta sure hurry up and get oh, the text. Shout out to um, shout out to Baddie, the producer EP of Baddies on now that CD is in the comments. Shout out to my homegirl. Y'all may be seeing something from Reese G very soon on now that's TV. Okay, now Just that's TV. Yeah, they are the rival to Zeus Network. Mm -hmm. Just stay tuned. Um, Jeremy Copeland is in the building. <laughs> Let's bring Jeremy up, and then we're gonna get up out of here, y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry. I came in to tell in and fucked everything up. Sorry. Nah, you you are right. You are right. You here. I like some people. Damn. Oh. They said Carl was sick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they did say he was sick. He they did say so he can he can get a pass. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, I can't. You, no hugs. My work ethic is you above you yours. You, you cannot about? fucking sit with me. Like, well, apparently you were you were on mute when Brandon came at you in that group chat, so apparently you did see it. How old are you? How old are you? We're in a real tough, you know what I'm saying, discussion right now. But hey, what's a, what's a show without drama, huh? He's at work, and he don't want to deal with y'all bullshit exactly what he said to me. You've been called out on that shit before. You be contradicting yourself. My thing is just take ownership for the shit that you do. You get slapped. And, and, you, and, and, and you get slapped. You get slapped in front of him too, though. You get slapped for him too, though. You get slapped for him too, though, nigga. Bitch. I want you to. I'm going to knock you out. You better not swing. Bitch, I'm playing on me. Hold on. Bitch, could you do that? You know you fucking wrong. You know I got attitude. Don't touch me. You are fuck you. Stupid ass. Jerry. Hey. What's poppin'? Our future baby daddy. <laughs> What's up? Hi, Jeremy. Hey. I'll see you soon, love. Yes. Um, I'm ready to make that quick and fast and be done. Ooh, it's gonna be a one hit of winner. It's gonna be an in and out. Boom. Damn. Not an in and out boom. So, have you got your look together for the reunion yet, Jeremy? Yeah, I know what I'm aware to the reunion. Um, it's going to be a good time. For those you're going to come in the pool or you're going to come out of a handbag? I'm not coming out of a handbag. I don't give a handbag. Like, come on. <laughs> I mean, you got it. <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, this is Jeremy Z. Copeland, cast member on several things, but what we're talking See, about I was just watching Step It Up is, last night. Well, okay. Sunday. Um, Chasing LA. Their reunion is coming up this week. So, Jeremy, this season, it seems like you pretty much stayed away from Everybody. most of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So, what, watching it back, are you surprised at some of the things that happened that you weren't around for? Um, To be honest, 
I'm not really surprised. I mean, here's the thing, right? When I first started the season, um, I was injured. So I didn't really know what and where things were really. Can y'all hear me good? Yeah. Okay. I didn't really know what or where things were going to go. Um, also, coming into it, I was excited because after doing season one, which was really just a whirlwind in my first time, this time I was like, okay, I kind of know how things go. I know how these web series and stuff kind of go. So I had like a plan, you know, of what I was going to do. But for all of us that have done shows like this, as much as you plan, when you're dealing with actual people and their own agendas, you just never know how things are going to go. So as, ten, as time went and, you know, I started, we started implementing new people in the group and stuff like that, you know, I just, I don't know. Like a part of me is like kind of, I'm not going to say I'm over it, um, but I'm over... I'm seeing people's true colors. Um, when that red dot comes on, people get in desperate mode and they just start doing the weirdest shit, right? Ooh. And so you sit there and you're like, are you serious or are you not? Um, and so for me, I think I kind of started checking out when, because I see a lot of, um, and I was gonna wait to say this to the reunion, but I said this on here. I see a lot of why is Jimmy around? Um, he doesn't bring nothing to the show, you know. And to be honest, a lot of my scenes that, you know, had Emmy-nominated actresses and Grammy-nominated artists um, were cut for conversations of what we talked about all season. So, I was as, about much to say, as, I, so as much I, as Jeremy tried to bring what Jeremy feels he can bring in the level that I'm at in my career that I'm thankful to be at because I never come up with the ego. If anyone knows me, I don't, I'm not a big head. I don't have an ego. And people say I name drop, but that's just my normal life. So what happens in my normal life is name dropping, oh well. Um, and I just try to like bring the best foot I could, but it sucks when that is getting cut out or we're not available to film or we can't do that. But mm. we see the same conversations over and over and over and over again and then the yeah. people who are not in the drama who are trying to stop the perpetuation of drama filled bullshit on web series then we're 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 titled um not relevant on the show and not having a storyline no i'm just not jumping into y'all storyline that's not i'm i got shit to do i'm busy so that's just where I'm at. So yeah, I'm trying to check out. You know, I've gotten I've gotten invites to a lot of events, and you don't see me there. Why? Because I know when I go, it's gonna be the same conversation. So why why I gotta be there? You know, I tried to have an amazing ball. That was the first ball I ever threw. Yeah. Period. And I said, and me and Reese G had a conversation about this way before. Like we really were trying to implement ballroom into chasing like i know reese tried to do a little bit when she was doing dallas and stuff like that and i really was like this would be amazing for people to see i worked so hard with my partner to get that scene together and it was a slap in my fucking face when the scene comes out and it's a 10 second montage of the ball and the whole scene is talking about palm springs so no i'm not showing up to no events no i'm not doing that no i'm not going there to talk about the same bullshit. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm going to look nice at the reunion, but I'm not going to really have shit to say because we know what that's, that's going to be, what that's going to be talked about as well. So mm -hmm. if y'all want to know how Jeremy feels and why you haven't really seen me, that's why. Because I'm going to put my efforts and my time and my, use, and my usage on other shit. And that has nothing to do with chasing reality. The brand mm -hmm. as a whole. Like, I'm very thankful of the brand. I'm not saying I'm leaving chasing. I'm just saying that I noticed that things were going a certain type of direction and I wasn't interested when I'm trying to put my best foot forward and no one, like, it's not, no one cares. They want to hear about Lon Bond sweatshirts and Dollar Tree surgeries and the same stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, you got to put the LSD in there. It's the Lon Bond sweatshirt, but then, and, I, and I matched it with the, with the, <laughs> with the saying? Jordan. And then, uh, that just came it. out today. And I feel so, you, though. No, I feel you. He, he makes valid points. Mm -hmm. Do you think that there was some favoritism being played? Um, I think that when 
producers see that a certain energy is attracting a certain viewership, whether it be good or bad, then the energy shifts that way for numbers. I believe everything is a numbers game. And that's why, although there's certain situations that happened this season that I kind of felt slighted on, um, I understand business and I understand that that's good for the brand. I'm not the type, I'm not the person that's going to jump and be cursing people out on lives. I'm not the person that's going to be on social media going back and forth with people in the comments. That's just not me. I'm here to do my job, film, and go. But you, you have cast members who do that. You have cast, we had cast members that got us in trouble. We had a whole email sent out, sent out to us saying, no more, no, you guys cannot go on lives because y'all spilling this, 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 this. You know oh. what I'm saying? And it's like, there's people that are here for that. And although it can yep. be annoying, although for me, it's like, damn, I'm really trying to help. Yes, we need the drama. You need that. But we got to balance this shit out with some good shit, you know? And it's, and I always try to bring that balance. But it seems like when stuff gets crazy, let's just take that and let's drag that till the end of motherfucking time. And mm. there are people that are going to do that for you. Shout out to those people that do that. But that's just not me. So, you know, mm. I, I, I battle with that when it's like I know the business of it. But then, but then... The same people that do that, or some, they complain about the fans. They complain about the stigma. They complain about that. But you're mm -hmm. the, you're the, you're one of the people that's doing it, so you can't really complain about it. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of <clears throat> iffy about it. Do you think that with all of the bickering that's been going on, that some people may have not fully taken advantage of their opportunity on the platform for all the arguing? Definitely. I, I feel like I feel like some of the members who were on last season, I've seen so, uh, some growth in them. Like, I've seen them be like, okay, bitch, I looked really nuts last season. Let me get this together, you know. And we're all, we're all not perfect. Um, I definitely can say that for me, I feel like I've seen growth in Andre. You know, even though Andre wasn't some of the men, he has calmed down um, a lot. King finally wore a suit. We love that for him. You know, he put on that outfit. Um, we love that. <laughs> that, that, he said, that we love that for, yeah, him. Love that for him. I've seen growth in people. And here's the thing, like, I even, I like the new the new people that are brought in. I feel like everybody has a role and they play their role. I just think that, I just think that, I don't know. I'm trying to watch my words because everything I say ends up turning into something, but mm -hmm. I just feel like I wish that people would not feel like they have to do certain things on these web series because that's what they know was going to get them popular. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what they know that's going to get the traction. Like, oh, yeah, this happened, so let me jump on the live and read bitches the next 20 minutes. Oh, let me do this. Like, it's like, come on, y'all. Like, what happened to, you know, balance? I just That's just not, not me, so... If you had to choose two people that you would think shouldn't come back for another season, who would that be? Um, Nancy. Who I think should not come back for another season? I mean, I think William is one of my... We're cool, but I don't think William should come back for another season. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I don't think the platform for him. Um, and I, I've also gotten a lot of flack for trying to get people to understand William. Like, I understand him. Now, here's the thing, right? Everyone's going to have their opinions. Everyone's going to, you know, say what they want to say. And just mm -hmm. because I am giving him a space or I do a scene with him to have let him explain himself, that does not mean that I agree with everything that he's saying. That does not mean that sure. I, we're best friends. That does not mean that I am like his right hand person. Yeah, yeah no fair. No, I'm just trying to get do him your the job and mm -hmm. the space to explain himself and whoever receives it does and whoever doesn't, doesn't. I don't agree with half of the shit that he does. He texts, he hit me in my DM about some shit the other day and I was like, baby, that's all on you. Don't add me in that. That is all on you. Even the scene with Nicole that we had in my house, you know, that, you know, she jumped on my throat on social media for, you know, well, y'all y'all two grown men doing the scene and y'all wouldn't really have a, a storyline without me. No, no, it's not that. When production says you two are going to meet up, y'all are going to have a conversation about, you know, William, you haven't seen him since the We Just Made It To The Mixer. He just left this other group. He just left Zeus. Just have a conversation about that. Jeremy Copeland 
cannot control what William decides that he wants to talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that. So, so to say that two grown men, oh, y'all just sat up and had a whole thing about Nicole. No, that's not what happened. He decided to have the conversation mm -hmm. about it. You know what I'm saying? And I just shared my opinions. And then when me and Nicole talked about it, I said the same thing. If if these roles were reversed. And Nicole, you was at an event, and William took a picture from you from behind. Bitch, that's weird too. And if I yeah. did the same shit, bitch, I'm weird. It's all a clear across the board. It's not a hate yeah. train. It's just the real shit, you know. Yeah. And I'm just not a yes friend. And a lot of these people on these cast have yes supporters and yes friends, and cannot tell people the truth. When I was acting nuts last year, slamming tables, doing all that weird shit with you, Hawkins, I had to, to look at that with myself and be like, bitch, get it together. You got people you? This that are doing weird shit and being petty and doing stuff and disguising it as jokes and stuff like that. And that sometimes it's just not funny for certain people. Do you think that D Hawkins should have came back for season two? Um, no, I think that I think that we were we were good on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> that was a little key. So with everything that you're doing, I mean, you're you're on web series, you're on stars, you're all across the into of the net. And, you know, we love you as a dancer, choreographer. Um, shout out to all of the people that you have worked with. We had a conversation and it was interesting because we was like, um, you've always been in rooms with Sierra, but you have never worked, you haven't worked with her yet. Is there anybody else outside of Sierra that you would want to work with? Because we know you work with Todrick Hall and all these, um, Daisy Kane, you work with um, your bestie, who mm -hmm. everybody loves. So, I mean, is there anybody else that you would want to, like, work with, like, on your work with hit list? Um, I really would like, well, you know what I haven't really done that I really would like to do? Like, I have not, and I hope you're still in here so you can hit this. I would really love to fully choreograph an entire Tajik project by myself. That's number one. Mm. Um, number two, tough. I really, would, really, 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 really would love to work with Doja. I think that Doja is yes, God. and versatile. Um, like I like Doja, but to be honest, there are not a lot of the new artists. I'm not motivated by. I don't really care to work with. Like I really want to work with Janet. Mm -hmm. There's a couple artists I want left, and I want to act. Like, yeah. I want to do some other stuff. Like, I'm ready to tap into other, like, projects. Like, I've always considered myself, like, talent-wise, like, I look up to J-Lo, where she started as dancing, then she went into acting, then she went into brands. Like, I, I want to do so much. Like, I'm heavy into fashion. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I just, I have so much that I want to do. So, you know, there are- Are you musically inclined? You said what? Are you musically inclined? I don't want to be an artist. I'm so sorry. Just because I'm on a, a, a series does not mean that y'all going to get a record coming out next week. Yeah. That's not happening. Um, Just had to I'm ask. Really enjoying like <laughs> I, I want to tap into other things. I've learned, especially being in entertainment as long as I have been, that, mm -hmm. you know, and I have a lot of friends that are in entertainment that deal with a lot mm -hmm. um, mentally. And there's so many other things I can do besides dancing background and choreographing. I'm so well faceted in so much. And so, you know, I'm ready to try different things. So, yeah. So with you being so versatile and, you know, you got to dance and choreography piece and then you have your friends that travel and tour and then you have the acting piece and you have your friends that act. Um, one of your dear friends, Angelica Ross, is was um, part of American Horror Story. Could you ever see yourself doing something scary like that? I would love to. See, you know, I always had like every time I watch shows like Snowfall, American Horror Story, I'm always like, I can't wait until I get that role where I just get shot in the head, like just wait, oh, I hit off, and I just I like, you know, I just I want to like tap into different into different things. I don't want to be put into a box of like I love playing though, you know, on Step Up, but mm -hmm. that that still teeter tattered in like the stereotypical gay character. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm blessed to have been able to done that. You know, it's not easy that your first job is on stars. You ready um, to play a straight boy? Yeah, but I would love. Yeah, <laughs> I would love. To a girl was flirting me earlier today. I had to send her baby wrong tree. Um, <laughs> but I would love to do stuff like that. And me and Angelica have those conversations all the time. Like right before she went to Broadway, it was she had like a going away party, and it was also my birthday. So 
we was at her house and like Laverne and some other people, like it was like maybe six of us. And we just talked about the industry and just trying different stuff and just not being stuck in one thing. And that's what I love about Angelica. That's what I love about Dawn Richard working with her. Like my, my girl is a <coughs> great director for Adult Swim. She mm -hmm. is now about to possibly, I um, don't know if I said, she's about to start doing a residency at a university, like a huge university teaching oh, wow. music. Like mm -hmm. there's so much you can do outside of, I gotta be an artist, I gotta dance behind the person. Right. Like so mm -hmm. much other stuff you can do. So I'm just trying to explore all that. Yeah. And it I would love to show that on Kaysen if they let me and just stop talking about the same old dumb <laughs> bullshit every episode. Well, honey, well, I'm all I'm saying is, Taj, if you just need another idea. lion or another big bear or something, I'm always about to see. Because I know they joke and say he don't put big people in the video, but holler at me. I'll come through okay. for you. Okay. If you just need a big boy to come pop through, I will definitely waddle my way through, okay? Come on. Oh, shout out, shout out to Tony Bryce and, and, and Taj Cole in the building. I hey, Tony Bryce. Hey. We love, we love That's Tony another Bryce person that we should get to come up here because I love seeing y'all thrive. I love mm -hmm. seeing that I know people who are living the dream that I want to live and I'm trying to inspire to live. Seeing y'all on those shows really inspire me to like and motivate me to do what I want to do and to also know you guys or talk to you guys personally and see how grounded you are and y'all are as people and that you are willing to help your fellow people get where they where they're trying to go. My hats off to you guys. Y'all, you and Tony yeah. are two of my favorites that I love mm -hmm. to watch, and I support everything both y'all do. And I just, you know, shout out. And Todrick, I love Todrick. Todrick's also friends with my um good sister Trinity, and she always tells me about stories about hanging out with him and all that kind of stuff. So shout out Todrick. You were the first person I saw that looked like me do things that I wanted to do with the whole Disney skits and recreating. I followed Todrick for a long time. So shout out to Todrick and shout out to Tony and shout out to you, Jeremy. Y'all doing it. Y'all doing it big. Yeah. Jeremy, do you ever kind of take a moment to just step back and look at how much of an influence you are to our web series world and just the community in general? Right. Um, as far as on the web series side, no. Um, not I haven't really done that yet. Mm -hmm. Jim, I know I will. Um, my house keys are still together. Okay, I gotta come get it anyway. Um, so I, as far as the web series part, not yet. I think because I'm still actively in it. And mm -hmm. one thing I one thing I've noticed about myself is when I, when I'm in something, I. I'm not really present, which really, is, which really is a bad thing. And I think that's an entertainment thing. Like I remember praying for like I remember being on, on one job. I think I was doing J Lo on the floor, but mm -hmm. two. But I think I had Neo, Beautiful Monster, and Champagne Life like two days later. So I wasn't even enjoying J Lo because mm -hmm. I'm worried about the mm -hmm. next two other jobs. And so it's not until maybe I have my agents like, okay, well, can you send over like your resume or when you new real? I need to send your resume. resume. Else. Okay. And I literally was on a project filming something, working mm -hmm. on my reel for something else. Like, so I think I have to work on just being more present. Um, mm -hmm. And also because I always tell people I'm the last person that should have the resume that I have. I'm the last person that probably should have the life that I have because, like, I just, I literally did everything the wrong fucking way. Like, the worst way you can do it, I did it, and it somehow worked for me. So the way people may see me, I don't view myself, which is probably why I don't have an ego. Um, and I have so many flaws. I mean, Tajik can tell you. He's fired me like 12 times and brought me back. But like, <laughs> I have flaws that I don't even sit back and be like, good job. And it's not until, yeah. you know, it's not until like maybe somebody I'm dating or like one of my good friends sits down and just like, you know, you really like, you're that like, bitch, like, dead so, ass, like. like Oh, thank you. But then after after ten minutes, I'm like, okay, I gotta work. I got so much more that I want to do and that I gotta do. And that's why I get so irritated when I do these shows with certain people, and you have people throw up their money and throw up. I do this. I'm this. I'm the head bitch. I'm the head king. I'm the. I'm the. I'm the. But are you though? Like, but really, really, like, are you though? Like, what makes you that? Oh, I have a house. I don't have an apartment. Okay, great. Well, my apartment may cost more than your mortgage, so that's not a flex. 
Also, me, also, my apartment being more than your mortgage ain't a flex either because I may be the dumbass paying all this rent for the apartment. So it's like, we really got to like think about how we say yeah. stuff and what we do. And that's why on these shows, like I may come off quiet or whatever, but I'm just more conscious in myself of what I'm saying and how it's going to be perceived because that's not how I want to come across. Because when this is done, when we finish chasing... Jeremy still got to go back out in the world, and I still got to work. I still got to do with these brands. I still got to do with these artists. And everything I do yeah. on this show, on, on any show, is going to be a reflection of me when I leave here. And people may not want to hire me. They may not want to do X, Y, Z. So you just, I, I, you know, I just want people to know, like, you have to be mindful and cognizant of what you're putting out there and the energy. And yes, it's good for keys and giggles and stuff like that, but you got to have some balance, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I hopefully. You know, I, I'm i doing good on this web series side, this web series world, you know. But I don't know yet. I haven't really thought about that. So from, from what I'm hearing, I'm boring. I don't bring nothing to the show. But so. me, well, as a person mm. who well, who's that has, seen you, has seen you on this show, to, to actually see somebody doing what the title of the show is, you're a hustler, you're chasing. For you to say everything you just said about not noticing and not you on to the next, you are a natural born hustler, which means it's not about the fame. It's not about what, what I did. It's about my check and my grind and how I'm going to keep living. But your resume is that of something to be proud of. So, yes, when I saw you really working with J-Lo, really being on stars, you're 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 actually doing what this using this platform and doing what it's for and that's showing your grind even though you feel like they don't show it as 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 much as you think you have to understand we have a base outside of this that keeps track of us so they're seeing what you're doing mm -hmm. and you yeah. have people that are inspired by you that are that's watching what you're doing and supporting mm -hmm. it so never think that what you're not you're doing on this show doesn't go unnoticed. You inspire people that that dream to work on stars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To dream to dance behind some of the people that you the, did you just understand the flex you just pulled when you named some J Lo. J -Lo. Come on. Mariah Carey. <laughs> It's yeah. Mariah Carey for me, period. Right. It's like, do you understand the flex that you have just by by saying that? Mm -hmm. That's inspiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will say, like, I think that people don't really, because Jeremy is a very private person, people don't really get to kind of groove with him and get to know him on a private level. Because privately, Jeremy is like that, that snuggly little... <laughs> you know that snuggly little person and, and I'm I'm happy that this year I had the esteemed pleasure of producing him on a project that y'all will see him on produced by Mwah. and yeah with season three of Chasing Dallas and it was just I mean I think that a lot of times when you have a person who's whose net has been casted so far out you know it's kind of hard to filter in all different things because even when we was working y'all no lie we were working we had took a break from filming and the first thing I see this nigga's on his laptop working on an edit for something that he had to submit within like six hours. So, <laughs> you know, it's good to see, you know, the hustle stay going or the chase, all pun intended, stay going. Um, final question, I'm gonna let you go and we're gonna get up out of here. And thank you to all of your friends who stopped through on the live, honey. Yeah, I didn't um, even tell Tell nobody to stop through. So I, I thank y'all. Yes. And no shade. This is why I always ride so hard for my boy T. Like you can't say shit about me to him because he has been there for me since 2016. Like, and it's been we've had so many bumps in the road, so many ups and downs. But when you know a person's core. And again, like I said about William, that don't mean that I agree with everything. That don't mean that everything is okay, but I'm the friend that check you. I'm the friend yeah. that's like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? But I'm also the friend that's going to have your back when I know that people are playing in your motherfucking face. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I appreciate my friends that always write it down and come by without me saying nothing. Yeah. But yeah. still, what I need. The you support is real. Okay. So, mm -hmm. The support is always real. So, final question. We're going to let you go, Jeremy. 
If you could press an easy button and tomorrow have an email from your agent with a gig that you just w- been wanting to do for the past six months, what would you be getting? Oh, principal dancer for Janet Jackson. Period. Oh. I want Jan- I want Janet. Dance. Dance. I I I I think I'm I'm an amazing choreographer, but I have so much that I still need to do before I can touch the greatness of the Tina Landis and Shawnette Hers and Marty Cadelka. Like I need I need to like, you know what I'm saying? Like she is one of the people that I love and I cannot wait to work with. And I remember I had one Janet moment. I thought I was in Atlanta filming Step Up and I had to go teach a master class. I talked to May for now. I posted it on my Instagram. The next day, I get a DM from Janet. Hey, do you mind if I post this on my page? Excuse me? Yes, God. Oh, wow. What do you mean? Do I mind? That's amazing. So she ended up posting it and she loved it. And she was there with uh, her and her team was talking about this new artist that they wanted to work with. So, you know, whatever, whatever. I can't get too deep into that. But yeah, so she knows the kid. Okay. You got to get there. I want that. And I want my true Rihanna moment. I need Rihanna Super Bowl. I'm putting it out there. I feel like if I get Rihanna Super Bowl, I can fully retire as a dancer and just choreograph it. I'm lazy, y'all. I'll be turning on jobs left and right. I don't want to dance for nobody. I just want to choreograph, sit down, show up in the hoodie with my sweats and my slides. And that's it. I want to hire people. I want to give people opportunities. Like, I'm, I'm working on a new project now with somebody that will come out soon. I can't say who because I signed the NDA. But they were like, I really want you right, like, right next to me. I, yeah. said, baby, no. I said, baby, no. But I will, I will hire someone that will love the opportunity to stand right next to you. I will choreograph. I'll sit behind the scenes. And I just want to give. I'm at, a part, I'm at a point in my career where I want to give opportunity. I have so much that I can give. And that's where I'm at. Like, I just feel like I didn't go through everything I dealt with. I didn't go through all the trials of this industry to just hold on to it and to flex on people. That That's really not shit. Because my friends don't do that. The people I know don't do that. They give, 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 give. And sometimes you get shit on it. Sometimes, sometimes people don't appreciate it. And sometimes you that's feel true. like you're wasting your time. Yeah. And sometimes you feel like you're wasting your talents. But I promise you, somebody is really going to appreciate that because someone did that for me. Tajik did that for me. Reese did that for me. Q did that for me. Chasing did that for me. Stars did that for me. Stars hired a, somebody who that never acted before in their life. But we heard you were good, so let's give you a chance. And y'all, you did that. Right. So bad. I want I want to be that for other people. So yeah, that's why I don't want to sit and argue and do all the crazy shit on you know like everybody else is doing because that's not that's not where I see myself going. I'm not leaving the brand. But we're gonna we gonna we gonna be now we're gonna make space for some positivity. And it may take some time. I may have to be the one that has to trailblaze that. And y'all may call me boring. Oh well. But we need the balance. Everybody oh, had, we have a Cynthia. Everybody love a good Cynthia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't seen now. Hold on now. <laughs> well, you are fine. <laughs> yes. Hey Trey. Hey Diddy. Oh, yes. Well yes, well, well thank you so much. Uh, Jeremy, if you um if you ever come out with any chore- choreography that involves laying down, I'm definitely the one to call, okay? Period. Okay. And I'm the one, too, if you need a big boy to come through and just wham, wham, one good time. Dude, oh my God. Got come on, wham, wham. Yeah. Wham, wham. Well, I'm not going to dance. I'm just going to sit there and just look pretty. Okay. Your face. Yo, we, look at the eight count. I, when we be out, oh my God, it's such a vibe. We be so lit. Oh, Listen, it'd be too many things, too many things. I need to come to LA and I need, I need to just take a trip for my birthday because I really have nothing planned. But we will yes. talk about that. Well, everybody, thank you so much, Jeremy Coleman, for coming through to the King's Council Pop Up Kiki Live. We love you so much. Y'all can catch him and go back and re watch all of this season, season two of Chasing LA. Only on Chasing Reality. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share all of their content. They got some great stuff going on over there. Jeremy, good night. We will be talking soon. And I'm so excited to see what this reunion gives. Yes, uh, it sounds like it's going to be explosive. Yes, it sounds like it's going to be good. That Shout that was really out. good, and I'm and I'm I'm happy we ended it like because there was a lot of like chaos that happened earlier, mm-hmm. so to end it off with the positive vibes and stuff like that. And I want to give you guys, you know, y'all flowers, y'all flowers too, because I feel like we're we're all doing amazing stuff. Like you know, 
God has blessed me to put me in certain places. Reese G, you've been in certain places. Rico, you've been in certain places. You know, like it's it's just amazing. You know what I mean? God is good. All the time. Do y'all have any closing remarks before I do my closing remarks? I'm just thankful. That's all. I'm always thankful and happy for any opportunity I get. Once again, thank you, TTV, for giving me another opportunity with this panel. And hanging out with this group, this great group of guys has been very fun. I've enjoyed this experience. Um, and I'm just grateful for everything I've been blessed with this year. I've been blessed this year. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come on for the blessings. Oh, the blessings. So, you guys, thank you guys so much. Everybody that tuned in, popped in. Thank you to all of our pop-up guests. Hey, the great Chris Easley, Chris Raw, a.k.a. Raw Spitter, and Jeremy Copeland. Make sure that you guys go and subscribe to the G-Status ATL Hustle YouTube channel. Make sure that you stay on the lookout and go follow Watch Shift Network for their new show, new show Game Changes of Dallas. Make sure you subscribe to Chasing Reality. And last but not least, Make sure that you go and press that like, subscribe, and share, share, share all the content on TTV Network on YouTube. My name is Reese G. Not Carter. We must still get to the money. Oh, and this has been our very first the King's Council King's Kiki pop up. And good night, y'all. <laughs>